Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. And we have a special guest. Yeah. It's Tanya <laughs> on a Wednesday. Mm, why, why would that be? I don't know. <laughs> Crazy. And so we're starting a little late. Yes. Sorry about that. I had to get back from work, so... It happens. Yeah. Oh, and Gretams is very excited that Yay. you're here, Hi, which Gretams. is which is good. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're doing it late. We'll get into that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. um, so welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, and this is where we play new games on classic consoles, mm -hmm. specifically and pretty much only the Atari 2600. Make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second, so set the frame rate to 60, just in case you're not already watching, because that's what we, broad we broadcast at, and I want to thank everybody for watching live or if you're watching in youtube later mm -hmm. we love you too mm -hmm. um so we're going to be playing four games today including a homebrew patch challenge so we're going to be trying to get a patch homebrew patch challenge okay. yes not a not an activision patch challenge a homebrew patch challenge because there are a couple we've achieved well i've achieved the cactus canyon yes patch. oh yes yes was a that a homebrew back. yeah that was a homebrew uh -huh. That okay. was that was pretty challenging. Yes. But I did get it after a while. Mm -hmm. um, and there's Astronomer, which we'll also be tackling soon. Mm -hmm. Trying to. <clears throat> that one's yeah. hard. It's only a handful of people who've gotten that one. <laughs> but today we're going to be trying to get the tire tracks. Nathan Strum. Woo! More rage critting. <laughs> yes. We'll see if we get to that point. We will. We'll see. More like just rage. Yeah. <laughs> Less quitting. Less usually, quitting, I, usually I make it, but not always. Yeah. Not always. Might have to be on another day. <laughs> um, but today we're going to be doing tire tracks for the patch challenge. Okay. Have you played that one? You probably saw it in the Halloween, where it's you're the bicyclist, um, want... doing your bike, and there's a Halloween things, and you're going through. Did I watch it or did I play it? Things start to blend <laughs> after a while. Rage reset. Yeah. Rage yes. Reset. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, well, with the homebrews, you might not have to actually flip it on the on the console. So, so. slight less rage. There, yeah, yeah. Because um, it really makes me mad. Yeah, then I won't have to sit by the console and just click it constantly. So let's let's hope floor. we don't get to that point. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Um, we'll but see. you'll, we'll you'll see how it progresses. Yeah. yeah. So you'll see if you remember tire tracks. You may have just seen it. Mm. Um, but we're going to be playing three other games as well. Brand new games mm. from 2020 text adventure fish fight and this and steak toss remake mm. um so i want to thank all the twitch subscribers who support the show uh cafe man 2d captain classic charles and check dianoid dietrich for drexall amania ferrera gretams ground trooper something wrong just audio sync off what <clears throat> i tested it uh okay try this Ever so slightly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I lip read. Look, I gave to me. Oh well. How is it now? Maybe it's RC70. Is that better or worse? Not too bad. I didn't even notice. Yeah. I uh, looks good to me. Okay. Well. Okay. We'll go with that. Let us know. Let, Let us, us know. know if it's really annoying or not. Yeah. Uh, Dietrich Ford, Drexel, Emmanuel Ferrer, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Gix, nineteen seventy eight, Johnny WC twenty three. Kal L Prime 1959, Carl G. <laughs> Everyone, a fraction of a second it's off. It's a mix. Sorry, sorry. I don't mean to keep interrupting you. I just, uh. Uh, yeah. is, is the audio before or after? Is the audio just before I clap or just after? Heard the clap before seeing mm. it. Oh, I need to. Spot on for Andrew. Mm. Just before. Just before. Just okay. Before. Okay. Let me try this a little bit better. Mm. But it's slight. Well, slight makes people crazy. <laughs> makes me crazy. Everyone's like, no, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's before. <laughs> well, at least the people are agreeing <laughs> on out. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, okay, here we go. How's that now? Better? If the clap was before, I've now delayed it a little bit later. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Nobody cares anymore. <laughs> just <laughs> Nobody cares. Move on. Move okay, on. everybody's saying it's fine. Even mm. if it's not, they're like, just 
do it. Just do your thing. Mm -hmm. um, Kal Prime, 1959. Carl G. Croco, 2600. Laudmont, M.K. Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man, Spartan 581, S. Ramirez, 2008, The D Train, 37, The Welshman, 89, Tiki Dan K, and Ven Jack, and you can support the show too. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, and you should, because now it's the time for watching movies. And and just link it to your Twitch Prime and uh, click subscribe, and it's all good. And so everybody says, near perfect or perfect or good enough. Yeah, I think they're trolling you now. <laughs> I would just not I can't attention. believe half of the people now. <laughs> A little after, close enough. Okay, well... Mm. You guys are driving me crazy. <laughs> um, so make sure you uh, follow us on um, Twitch so you know when these late shows are mm -hmm. happening, if they're a little bit off time, because I had to move it from the normal time mm -hmm. um, um, because of reasons we'll get into. Mm -hmm. um, and follow us on Twi uh, YouTube and fi Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that so you know about things. Uh, so... <laughs> All the, things. all the things all the things and i want to thank all the people that are here live because that's really exciting telling me that my timing's off yeah but it is helpful yes um especially once i get it fixed uh captain classic ground trooper uh meta lunar seven that's a new name welcome they use the, your name sim so they must be from uh <clears throat> previous life uh oh yeah. uh <laughs> rc70 uh andrew davy ds kilos 80 dan avc pack rat vg uh ground trooper i think i said already captain classic am i repeating myself zero six five oh two gretums <clears throat> mu dan dan avc spartan and thank you spartan 581 Yay. for resubscribing Yay. today uh seven months total and they're on a three month streak uh and uh and dan always updates the community calendar on the avc uh online if you want to mm. check there um so the box art for Dan Kitchen's upcoming Atari 2600 homebrew game, Gold Rush, mm. was released yesterday. The box art? The box art oh. for it. So he's getting ready. That's there, a good are indicator. Are there any demos coming up or has he said anything uh, yep. to you? He's, he said he will pass it over when it's time. Okay. Almost got some cat water there. Oh. <laughs> um, he hasn't indicated that yet. Mm. So he'll just, he'll let me know when it's ready. Mm. But he did release the box art. So we're going to take a look at that uh and it looks really good it's not new artwork but it's been put on a box hmm. um it is based Ooh. off of artwork that he has put out already but putting it on a box makes it look even better so let's take a look at that let's switch over the screen come on as soon as this computer there we go uh let's get rid of that Switch over to that. There we go. And you can take a look at it on his website, which is dankitchengames.com. And he says, here's the first look at the package for my upcoming Atari 2600 release of Dan Kitchen's Gold Rush. Puts his name right in the title. So you don't mistake it for all the other gold rushes out That's there. Right. Which there actually there's probably other games called Gold Rush. It you seems think so? like seems like a title or a board game or a card game. I bet there's mm. tons like it's a really like a common thing a gold rush is an event that happened in the u.s in yeah yeah 1800s 1800s anyway uh please let me know what you think uh has tiki vision at the top <clears throat> his company uh dan kitchen's gold rush video game cartridge and shows a little preview of some of the enemies that you'll be encountering nice. i mean this artwork's been uh released before yeah got snakes and spiders and rabbits in magician hats and some things to collect inside mm -hmm. and uh there's the coal for the train um when this was first posted the artwork i i, I said what is what is that cloudy lump of stuff <laughs> and then people said oh that's the coal mm -hmm. and i was like ah that makes sense and then there's you the... haven't been on a train in a while obviously no not on a <laughs> not a long, old fashioned not a coal engine. train yeah anyway. <laughs> And you can see all the background. Yes. Um, that's going to go by in parallax scrolling. The cactus and the nice um, sunset and the mountains. Yes. For use with the Atari video computer system. Very the nice. AVS. Very AC, nice. uh, VCS, sorry. I like the um, orange orange theme, the gold. Yeah. Gold oh, yeah, I guess theme. it is kind yeah. of a 
Goldie. <clears throat> yeah. um, and then you can see the front and back here and the sides. Uh, conceived and designed by Dan Kitchen for one player. <laughs> so nice there's no two player options. Up front. Yeah. <laughs> no alternating players, just one player at a time. And then you're done and you hand it over. Mm -hmm. That may be just a uh, place, placeholder because it's mm -hmm. fairly empty on the back. I'm, I'm sure he's going to fill it with more information. Use the joystick controller. It says introducing Dan Kitchen's Gold Rush, a new action adventure game published by Tiki Vision for your Atari 2600 from veteran Activision game designer Dan Kitchen. Excellent. There you go. So it looks really good and 25 people like it. <laughs> Get in there. 17 comments. That Very looks fantastic. Nice. Well done. Can't wait to own it. <clears throat> and he's going to be doing a Kickstarter for this. Oh, nice. Um, with a lot of rewards, oh. including, I believe, a railroad spike as one oh, of the rewards. Oh, nice. And various other things. Hunt he hasn't really Harvey. announced that yet. Um, Ground Trooper says, very nice. I love the color choices. Yeah, really, really nice mm -hmm. color choices. It is. Um, so I'm really excited about that upcoming release and showing it to you all in an exclusive mm -hmm. world. Exclusive? I said that backwards. <laughs> world <laughs> exclusive. I'm like, I already exclusive used that word. Exclusive. What's the word I need? The world exclusive here. The exclusive world exclusive. It, world exclusive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exclusive world exclusive. <laughs> Buy two copies, play them on two 2600s next to each other. That's right. If That's, you want to do a two player. Yeah. You, you can go. go head to head. It's Speed simultaneous round. two player action yeah. Speed on two round. different Ataris. Yes. Yeah. Um, I like his box art. Exclusive World Premiere. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I still family. like Exclusive World Exclusive. Personally. <laughs> Why not? It's such a good word. Use it yeah. twice. Nothing yeah. like an, an exclusive world <laughs> exclusive. That is big time. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Um, uh, and <clears throat> like I said, the new temporary schedule, probably for the next little bit, at least. So we'll be doing, still trying to keep to Wednesday, Wednesdays and Fridays. Mm. Um, but it'll probably be at a steady 6 p.m. Actually, not even then. Maybe we can go back to the same hours. Next Last week. week. Possibly. We'll see. They'll be in flux. That's the point. Are you going to talk about next week or uh, maybe? Are you going to hint that? No, no, no. <laughs> don't say anything. That you okay. might be home. <laughs> oh, kind of that why. No, I thought you were you were looking into. Um... Oh, yeah. I'm not going to say what it is. OK. Um, so anyway, because there's sorry, because <laughs> there's a state of emergency in British Columbia um, and Here. and in yeah. Vancouver City mm. as well. Uh, in Canada. So, and the government is not locked down the city yet. It is, they are suggesting everybody stay indoors. Mm. Um, so we don't have any, um, anybody else but Tanya here. Because <laughs> everybody has to stay out of the house. And the and cats. In, and so in their own could, house. You could stream with cats if you really feel like I it. I could. I've tried streaming alone, but it's hard because I have to read some things. <laughs> And play and play and and Atari. And so I have to sit Atari there and will read. play Atari with you. No, no. He, he has to be. He's very food motivated, but oh. we don't have anything hooked up that he can press something. He can smack on the paddles while while like, you're. Like we've saw a video of cats ringing bells for food. <laughs> so if you can teach a cat to ring a bell to get food, you could do a virtual bell in an Atari 2600 yeah. system. Yeah. And they could press on a pedal and it could feed them a little treat every time. <laughs> and somehow you can make that interactive. Like they could see a bird yeah. on the screen. And when they see the bird, they press the pedal. And then they get a treat. And the bird gets, you know, the cat jumps up on the screen and eats the bird. Oh, I don't know. That, yeah. And then they get a treat. <laughs> automatically fed. If you haven't seen that, that little video, it is With so... With the bell is adorable. So cute. Yeah, it's adorable. Especially if you love cats. Yeah. Um, Have a text-to-speech read the text. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's always Ooh. fun. Yeah, I could get the Atari Vox to read out the text. It's it's <laughs> it's like that uh, voicemail I keep getting uh, saying that the warrant's out for my arrest and they're going to well, come I got in. one yesterday for that. I, I've gotten one almost every day the last little <laughs> while. And, it, and it's like... Well, uh, what have you been up to? I don't know. You're in trouble. I don't know. If you don't, if you don't call this number, the warrant is going out for your arrest in that and very so choppy... General. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's like an electronic voice computer. that's reading it, a computer voice, which yeah. I find hilarious. But anyway, <clears throat> and um, yeah, Andrew Davy has announced that he's going to be using uh, voice in his chess game. Oh, so it's gonna going to be taunting to be you. <laughs> it's going to be chastising oh. you. 
Um, based on, nice. say, your moves. If you do a good move, it's going to have a different reaction. If you Very do a nice. bad move, it's going to say you suck. Will or... it taunt Erlen? Because that will be awesome. Yes, it will taunt Erlen. Awesome. Aralyn. Okay, good. So that, that's... <laughs> Tourette's chess. <laughs> yeah, Tourette's chess. So that's awesome. going to be fun. When uh, when we're able to have it on the show, we're going to have Erlen play it. Mm. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun with the Atari Vox telling Erlen that he sucks <laughs> amongst various other things <laughs> that stream will de be demonetized. demonetized yeah i didn't i don't care about youtube it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> it's you guys support me on twitch and that's i don't i don't i haven't uh, i don't monetize the videos on youtube because mm. it's it's such an annoyance it's pointless mm. yeah um so i don't i don't care about that they can demonetize me anyway <laughs> um they probably already have <laughs> so yeah bc is the worst in canada for what's going on right now i think ontario has a higher it, we rate we beat them today did we really yes we did oh, we're fabulous. number one so <laughs> it's not fine. good yeah. um so darcy is staying home and Erilyn's staying home yeah or they're doing whatever they want to do yeah. <laughs> but we are staying home i have not left the house except to get um toilet paper not hoarding it we only got enough that we need yeah and it was that horrible because we were low it's not that we did, we had a lot and we wanted to get a bunch more yeah we were actually running out and i had to yeah. we had to go about multiple times <laughs> to find it yes. it was really annoying and then what did we get the like organic bamboo which probably <laughs> feels like like sandpaper know, sandpaper it's it it registers <sighs> on the grit level of sandpaper <laughs> It is not nice toilet paper, uh, but it's toilet paper. What are you going to do? Anyway, yeah. yeah, I'm sure give it three or four days. Everyone will have their fill and everything yes. will be restocked, but it's just always a little crazy. And we have in the interim, really so. big toilet ma toilet paper manufacturers in BC. In BC. In Vancouver. Yeah, it's silliness. So there's tons. It's just we had none. So we had to fight <laughs> to get our toilet paper. Mm -hmm. um, people are really regretting that Sears catalog and phone mm -hmm. books are a thing of the past. I think we actually have a phone book, though. <laughs> If it oh, ever no, came it to that. Oh, did you? Yeah. That's if the, if the internet goes uh, down. Yeah, that's a problem. But yeah, that's the only reason. No, but no, no, of, no. To use as toilet oh, paper. Oh, <laughs> that would, a, that's, that actually might be better than the bamboo. Of, I'm there's not tons really of flyers. Sure, but yeah. You never run out of flyers. <laughs> that's true. That's for sure. Yeah. You yeah. can use the uh, local free newspapers yeah. that are around. Yeah. Um, but, but... I may be able to include Darcy and Erlen in different ways. Mm. I have found something. I've run across something. I've, I knew about it before, but I looked it up. Um, but they might be able to join in on the show. And we're going to give fun. that a try on Friday. So that'll be a, oh. a fun little thing. You guys yeah. might be able to guess what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, but we'll see. We'll see if it works. I haven't even tested it yet. Mm. Um, but we'll probably be te I'll be testing it tomorrow with Darcy. Okay. And and then if it works well, Parsec, Parkek? No, don't know what that is, so no. Um, and we'll see if it works on Friday. And if it works on Friday, we might be making it even better and mm. enhancing it and getting them over like uh, webcam and stuff. That uh, mm -hmm. would involve more syncing of videos, <laughs> of video. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. We did it for the live stream. Yes. Um, so it's just going to be just the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's the update for that. So the first game we're going to be playing is called Text Adventure. Mm -hmm. It's by Satisfaction. What's a okay. satire? Satire? S-A-T-Y. Satire? Satire. 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 Isn't it? Is, oh, is it's it an one instrument? Of, no. Like uh, a... It's one of the hybrid animals from oh. Greek mythology, isn't it? It's like... Yes. Uh, goat's body, human face or something. I, I, I can't mm. remember. Yeah. Goat body. <laughs> Somebody look it up. Human human torso on a goat body. Is that a satyr? S S A T Y R. -R. Yeah. yeah. I uh, could be wrong. I'm I'm no expert at these things. Right. Goat legs, human torso. Yes. Oh, you Thank got you, Fredums. I knew I was it. pretty close. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Newt, right? Newt, Newt from uh, oh, uh, the Adventures of. Um, Herc, Herc. Herc, Herc. <laughs> New nude, her Kirk. Terrible. <laughs> the Adventures of Hercules. Yeah. Oh, now that now that is really going back in time. It is. Did anyone outside of Low outside of uh, like Canada? It must have been everywhere. It was on TV Ontario. The Adventures I'm of sure Hercules. It, it must have been into the U.S. Yeah. Anyway. 
It, it was a very low Thanks, effort seventies, <laughs> eighties TV show. Very low effort. <laughs> very low. You know those terrible Hanna Barbera. Yeah. It's, it's worse than that. Anyway, if anyone there knows what I'm talking about, The Adventures of Hercules, then please. It played on TV Ontario where I grew up in Ottawa, and uh, um, yeah. I watched it a lot. It was on so I think I. every morning before I went to school. So. Uh, it it for me, was the for same me. line of animation as uh, Rocket Robin Hood. Yes. As well. It's the yeah. same company. Yeah. And like almost blank backgrounds and almost non-moving it's characters. It's like hand-drawn, yeah. hand-drawn characters. Don't read that out loud. Okay, I won't. <laughs> uh, totally remember that show, Nathan Strom says. Still remember Thank the theme you. song. It was, it was actually a decent theme song. But only the parody lyrics. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I can... I can remember the theme song, but probably I could not read it uh, in its entirety. Yeah. Likes to drink and play pan flutes and play with oh. human women. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, the vague, okay. yeah. So uh, the first vague game is recollection. Text Adventure. Okay. And when I first saw this posted, I was like, oh, a, a text adventure game? Because that's yeah. what it sounds like, bottom, bottom one. one. Um, this was first posted March 3rd, 2020. Okay. Let me turn down the volume in case it blasts our ears. Um... But it's not a text adventure. It's an adventure. It's adventure. It's like um, adventure, but with text objects. Okay. You'll see. You'll see what it is. It's instead of graphical objects you pick up, mm. they're text. They're text objects. You'll see. It's really interesting. So one and two. Well, one. Let's go for one. One. And I have to. They you have to press. Start. They didn't make the button. Oh like, no. The button does nothing, but I have to press this. Okay. Oh, do I have to guess what the axe? Oh, ha, <laughs> right? ha, 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 ha. Right? Funny. Gotcha. Um, so this first posted March 3rd, 2020. This build is from March ah. Ah. Uh, 12th, 2020. Oh, no, uh, I put the axe down. I didn't mean to do that. I'll go pick it up. Ah. You have to aim fighting? the axe at it. Oh, jeez. Orc? The orc. There, there we go. go. <laughs> um, this it's a 32k DPC plus game. Here. Hero. Yep. So you just pick it up. Am I? Do I get injured on the walls? Nope. Uh, nope. nope. They're just walls. Oh my. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Blue, light, dark blue on light blue is is. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, you guys can't even see that. It's so. Bad. I can't even see that. Oh, you can barely see the maze. Oh. Wow. There is a maze there. There is a maze. Holy smokes, this is this is interesting. It's it's not the greatest of color choices for the maze. It's uh it's a little bit more distinct uh, I feel the better like, the quality of your output of your VCS is. Um I vaguely feel like this is uh one of those eye like <laughs> eye tests. Can you see the maze? Well, Can you well read like this? uh oh yeah, dead end. Um uh what am I trying to say? Yeah, barely, but it's there. Oh, yeah, somebody... a color blind blindness test. That's kind of what yes. this feels like. Except yes. it's all blue, so it wouldn't <laughs> blue serve blue. any purpose. Um, this is available in the Atari Age forums, and I will read out the instruction. Um, I finally finished my first ever Atari game, which I made in Atari Basic. I call it Text Adventure. I made it meanly as a me made it meanly a, mainly, mainly as a means. <laughs> it's a mouthful to learn the language. It's a small adventure style game, but the items, monsters, etc., are represented by words instead of pictures. I love it. I love it. Yeah, and he's <sighs> and you have to pick small words or put them in an angle. That's a dead end. Um, I figured seeing the word would uh, more readily inside insight one to imagine the thing rather than seeing the picture of the icon whether or not my theory holds up uh is up to you i guess haha <laughs> and i think it's really unique i think it's really cool. cute i like it <laughs> yeah there we go ah there we go key oh i have to drop the axe to get the yep. key yep uh, fun times fun uh, times this is a dead end so i have to go back out your junior needs tweaking um uh, maybe uh probably i did use oh, that's funny pitfall to dial in the colors um should the contrast between the colors be more but i mean tweaking the dial for color inside the 2600 
just changes the colors. So they should, like the colors would still be relative to each other. And this is just a composite output. So the, the range of colors is more compact. Like it's not as diverse. So, but the output to you guys is not as good as um, what we're seeing on the screen. So I can maybe tweak that and see what I can do. See if it uh, can get any better. Ooh, oh, that's actually. Nice. Ooh, a harp. Do I, what do I want a harp for? Uh, it helps people not attack you. Oh. Uh, I don't have an ax, but I, I don't know what to do with the key. Keys There's always a town. open things. I know, but should I carry the key or the harp? Um, I don't probably know where the... the key, but you could carry the harp until... I know where it is. You know where the, the well, castle is? straight down from the town. No, I, I'm just I'm oh. gonna trying to remember. Yep. The harp is there. The axe is where I picked up the key, which is in the at the end of the crypt, so that's kind of annoying, but... Uh, orcs. Mm. Uh, anyway, the object is find the gem and bring it to the temple. The gem is in the castle. You'll need the key to get inside. Uh, you I'm can use sure. the axe to fight monsters or the harp to put them to sleep. Uh, there are also two companions you can find. The hero, which increases your combat abilities, and the seer, who helps you see in the dark castle. Oh. So you'll need to pick that up. To see in the castle, but yeah. I, I won't have to, I have to use the key and then come back for the seer, right? No, the, I can't seer get is, into the seer is just a picking up thing. It's automatic. You don't have to Oh, throw. really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a interesting way to get around the graphical limitations too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it is because you don't need to make it look like a key. You know it is a key automatically, mm. but you still have limited space to draw things. Actually, you can go as vertical as you like. You can you can draw a long, long, long word vertically. It'll look weird. So they've they've used up the eight, uh, I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven at least. Uh, uh, uh. I know where everything is. I've finished this game. Oh well. Thanks. So I'm letting you play it. <laughs> uh, ah, they respawn. Uh, hope you enjoy and thanks. Thanks to Orange Eight Hundred Eight for all his help. Below is the final updated, correct and corrected version of text adventure enjoy uh you've done all this maze i know way, so don't bother going in here anymore oh okay just exit out well it's i'm missing maze. something then well get the harp and look around and you can't get hurt yeah right i haven't found the castle yet that's what you need to do i know um and this uh game was very 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 shaky uh for a while it's still a little shaky there um, so he was employing oh, people's way. help. And he even represents the door as mm -hmm. door, which is awesome. I love that. And those are skulls, it said. They're skulls? I think it said skull. Hmm. If or I skeletons. drop the harp here, will they... they... Immediately attack you. But I can't you can come back anyway. for it. I can't drop it. Oh, you press the button. Really? I pressed the button. It didn't. Oh, I probably pressed the wrong button. <laughs> It's a problem when your controller has three buttons, but the Atari, no. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a giant word that says duck that comes out and attack you? <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Like just a massive duck word. Yeah. Each letter is huge. Go get the harp. I'm trying to get it. Why am I You're stuck? You're going to die. Oh. Just go straight for it. There you go. It doesn't matter. I don't need the harp. I need the key. No, you need the harp. Oh, yeah, you, you know where the door is now. Yes. So. Finally. Ah! Just go straight forward. I'm trying to. <laughs> ah! And the dragon killed you. <laughs> but they respawn. So if I kill them with the axe and I come back, they're still there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you have to think about that. Okay. Oh, I have the key. Uh, That's interesting. <laughs> okay. I don't know why you have the key right away. Mm -hmm. Oh, every, it's just Everything's continued. Oh, why is this having such a hard time? Mm. So Should is I the door the already open? Now? Well, the harp 
Let's see. Totally disabled. Yes, it is. Ha ha ha. Oh, so you die, but you continue. Tricky. And I can go right past the dragon. There you go. And I need to get to. Oh, that's always my favorite. How do you. What was the thing you need for the dark? It I have is... the seer. I already have the seer. Uh... I have the seer. You do? Yeah. Well, that shouldn't be dark. But should I, I can see a little bit. Um, or do I have to go back and I get the I think you seer? might have to go back and get that. But I can still see. Oh, well, I'll get the gem anyway. But then I have to I have to leave the harp. Oh, that's annoying. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have to get past the dragon and everything else with that gem and bring it back to the castle. I could... Oh, I can't drop the gem. Can I drop the gem? That harp wasn't where you left it. Oh, um, it, I found it, in this game that it puts things in a random place on the screen. It doesn't remember exactly X and Y coordinates. Um, it just puts it in a place um, when you leave it somewhere. Run! Mm. Luckily, I think the dragon resets every time, too. Ugh. Does that mean the gem will be in that room, though? Mm. Maybe. Maybe. I have the gem. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> Where do I have to bring it to again? <laughs> the temple? That seems like a problem. That is a cheat. <laughs> Woohoo. I think the game doesn't reset your items. Like, he forgot no. to do it. Oh. Where do I have to bring it? You have to bring it to the castle. The castle's not down. Oh, the temple. The temple. There you go. Woo! I, I don't <laughs> think that's... I don't think that's right. I think it's right. Because <laughs> um, I am pretty sure I, in the last version yeah. that I played, which may not have been this one, yeah. the items did reset when you died. <laughs> that is Because that's, that's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, right? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, can you move around? No. That's a gem. Mm -hmm. That's a gem. Was that there before, too? It said text, or it said something else, didn't it? The thing at the top on the dot? I don't think it said gem, though. Hmm. Anyway, let's go to two. Let's see what that is. <sighs> and you notice your points go up. So I guess it's a bit like golf, <laughs> where you want to get the lowest points possible. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see if he says anything about what the different levels are there's the key in the seer so that's random where these things end up oh you know what this level two might be randomized oh that's what two is yeah so interesting there's the don't, harp i don't remember reading what two was but if you play the other games like this um i think level two is like that where Things are randomized rather than in one one uh, specific spot. It probably shouldn't allow you to keep the item you had in your hand when yeah, you last had it. Which yeah. is hilarious. He, he needs to update the game yeah. so it does not do that because that's bad news. So anything could be anywhere now. Oh. Yep, but you'll be able to find out if it's in the maze pretty oh, quick. Actually, you won't be able to find if it's below because that's, that's that's what I mean. You'll have to go below. Oh, oh, there's the hero. That'll help you a bit. Well, I can't quite get it. Is he on the other side? Maybe yep. he's on the other side there. Because you're... There, there you go. go. So what does that do? Does that... Increases your uh, attack and defense. Mm. Uh, so hopefully he watches this and uh, realizes that... Uh, he didn't uh, reset everything when you die. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to look at the latest post by him. So, what is the SK? Those are skulls. What? <laughs> You're getting hurt by touching Oh! Because you didn't point uh. the axe at him. You're just pointing yourself at oh, him. Oh, I see. So let's see if you have the axe. Yep. Oh, that's good. Yep. So his code is not doing so well there. Um, 
See his last post here. There's lots of people just discussing it. Just says, uh, this is the final version of text adventure. I don't think it is. I think he needs to fix that problem. Um, but nobody was talking about it. I don't think it's a problem. The dev should probably change the counter to a clock. I mean, it kind of is a clock, except it's in hundredths. Yeah, a clock might be, well, a countdown clock, because it's going up, not oh, down. Oh, you mean down, because clocks can go up, too. Yeah. Was there something so you have to in do that, it within a certain amount of time? Was there something in that room like, that you're trying to get? Uh, yeah, because I was dropped... It? What did I drop? The key? The key? There's nothing in here. Oh, that's my bad. No, it's nothing. Oh. Oh, what did I hit? Anyway. Ah, ah I didn't mean to do... I there. Didn't... there we go. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. I, uh... Just the controls are a little funny sometimes. Um... Actually, I want to tried the previous version after you uh the previous version play this a bit or do you want to keep playing no it? no because it's the same as what it's we played before, before and i feel like i cheated the system so i'm very okay. proud of myself Hold so down the middle button. there you go uh, oh, oh, sure. yeah. i'll play it <laughs> so we'll see if the previous version does that as well because i played it and uh to test it out yeah and I was oh the last sure. version yeah 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 this is from oh eight mm. and his newest one is on the twelfth which is kind of recent I don't know I don't know when I tested it so we'll play that obnoxious <laughs> obnoxious use the button to oh, start see so you start oh there's the axe yeah, yeah. that's oh, so start the version with the, axe. the version the last version that I played. It was in the same spot, so it obviously is not randomized. Right. I do not like the responding though. So you can see this one's a little bit more flickery up and down. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Die, die. And I'll be back. Die. Skull, skull. So. And they're back. I need something else in my hands to prove. So, that doesn't help me. The seer. Yeah. Yeah. But you lost that. No, I because didn't. it was Oh, because dark. I died, maybe. Possibly it reset the maybe. upgrades, but not the item. That would make sense. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. Because it was dark, and when I played it, it was not dark in that castle. I didn't even see a version when it was dark. Mm. But I still need something else. Um, I need the key, which is in that terrible maze. Mm -hmm. But I guess we're going to go there. Well, you Just can, to prove that You out. could drop the axe before you get in the maze, because there shouldn't be anything in the maze. Oh, no, I can do it with the harp. There we go. That's good enough. So I can drop... No, I Figure can't die you... with the harp. Oh, I can die with the harp. I'll just run into them. Without... Or can I do that? No. Uh, see, this is the thing. If you... If I'm you... invincible with the harp. Yeah, you're invisible. Oh, no, not. No, you're not. And you're dead. They want to die. Oh, you do? Yeah. I want to die to see. Oh, yellow. And dark green. Red. Almost dead. And there dead. There you go. So now I'll reset and see if I start with the harp again. Oh, maybe it's part of the game. It, it must be. That's too easy. Well. Because you can die from the dragon and then you're fine. Yeah, but you still have to get to the gem before you die from the dragon. It's True. on your way out that you die from the dragon. But like I said, it would be better if you if they didn't respawn because then you could then you have to strategically pick up and drop things and kill things first before yes. you then go and get the gem. Yeah. But as it stands, the moment you get the gem, you can't have an axe. Yes. And so you're going to have to <laughs> dodge the dragon. So I yeah. I I would say you should it should you shouldn't have the respawning. It could respawn when you die and you have to go back and redo it. But you're kind of dodging stuck. the dragon was very hard. Yeah, like yeah. really, really hard. Yeah. Um, but I did it. Mm. Um, I actually had to rewind the game many, many times to dodge the dragon. Yeah. But you, when you, when we reset the game after you died, 
it puts you back at the starting position with the gem with the gem yeah yeah so you don't need to kill the you don't need to even dodge the dragon you oh, just die on the do dragon. you still have the seer why don't you go and see if oh well you don't have the key to get oh, through that door key. unfortunately yeah well um, but i can go check and see if it's back there yeah, because the seer was in the red or was... It's, it was there. Oh, so technically either so technically you have it have or it. it's gone, but yeah, you're not going to get it back now, I guess. Oh, yeah, it could be just gone, gone. It could be just gone. Like both... Unless the seer... So when you had the seer, when you did it, you could see the whole room? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it just was not dark. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll hmm. keep the axe. Um, so I'll go get the key. Sure. And see if the seer. Oh, this is such a terrible. I really hate mazes in games. I hate, hate, hate them. <laughs> I find them just pointless and painful. Because they're either. No, other one. Oops. There you either go. you have to memorize them or you have to map them. Yeah. And both I do not like, both mm -hmm. those options. Oops. I should use the axe. Yeah, get him first. Get the key. Oh, I think I messed up. Yep. Can't get it back now. <laughs> In uh, <laughs> the original adventure, yeah. uh, there was a magnet for just that purpose. Oh. And it would draw things out from the wall. Oh, that's funny. Like if funny. I drop that key inside the wall. Your game's over. The game is over. Yeah. It's done. It's, <laughs> that's funny. So technically I could, uh, which way is it? I could just die with this key <laughs> and then I'll be back and to the beginning. Yeah. And but you then, don't have, it's not, well, I, I guess you have the annoyance of the maze, but yeah, it's I not too die. bad. I can't die in here. To, no, there's nothing to, to die out. on. Nothing to die. Well, on. actually I could have died back in that room. Oh, you could have. Yeah. That's with true. the key and it would uh, bypass this maze, which I would do next time because it's really annoying. Mm -hmm. So you get the key and through the town. And then dodge the orcs, and then dodge the skulls, which really move Ow. fast. And Ow. um, key. It, where did where where's your harp? Um, somewhere else. Mm. They're so fast. You have to just just fly. Go 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 go. Oh, oh you I got through. I opened it. Yeah. So there. It's dark. Yeah. And and I did die. Yeah. After. And the seer stone is not there. So if you die... Are you sure that's not the seer stone? No. When you played it before, I, you saw I, the whole room. I saw the whole room. Oh. Um, hmm. So if you hmm. die with one of those objects, it doesn't reset. It do, You don't have it anymore. And it doesn't place it back hmm. where it was. Mm -hmm. So that's two bugs in one. <laughs> anyway. Okay, we're done. We're yeah. done with this. Um, but you still have the seer, I wonder. The seer's per gone permanently. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, gone, gone. So you have to not just reset the game. You have to go back to the title screen. You still have the key. Ha ha. Ah. So it, <laughs> that's funny. If you start a new game. Oh, nope. no, it starts back. It does in. reset. It. Yeah, it does reset. So I guess, hey, I, I guess that's an option. Yeah. Like you can either continue the game or reset the game from zero. Hmm. So maybe it's not a bug. Maybe he intentionally did that. It's like, oh, you lost the seer stone. Too bad. Yeah, that's that's you what you up. lose. You keep your item, but yeah. Or if you want to start again because you messed up. Mm -hmm. Because I also didn't have the hero, which is why I, I died pretty quick on those skulls. Oh, so if you got the, the hero, hero slows them down. Yeah. So maybe it's not a bug. Maybe he intentionally did it that way. Yeah. Either way, it could be it could be seen as doing it intentionally. Mm. Yeah. Evening, Muddy Funster. Or are you saying evening to Arena Foot? Probably. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the next game. There you go. Okay. Which is the second game we're playing of the night for those following at home who have just joined us. It is Fish Fight. Is it a there we go. fish slapping contest? That was posted in the Atari Age forums. And somebody <laughs> somebody wished it was a fish a slapping. A fish slapping contest. We go slap, 
And you do, do a little do, dance. Do, 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 slack smack. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. That would be amazing. Like yeah. like fighting with fish. <laughs> um, it's by Edward Smith, aka E. A. Smith. Hold down the button. It is a two player uh, game. Atari box. So I'm gonna plug in the second joystick here. Excellent. To buy Atari box. Uh, it uh, was posted March 14th, 2020, and this builds from March 15th. It's an AK uh, F8 game, if you want to go load it up. Um, EA Smith has also made 1 vs. 1 Baseball, 1 vs. 1 Pro Tennis, Alien Attack, Alien Re Revenge, Beer Pong, Championship Golf, Fish Fight, Kung Fu Combat, 1 on 1, uh, Basketball, Pickle, and Pro Bowling. He said he was taking a break from programming but he's back days later. <laughs> he said he had a good idea. Mm. Um, and so he just started programming again. So this is his, uh, his latest game. Latest game, Very Fish nice. Fight. After a couple weeks off, I got a new idea. Well, really, it's more of a combination of a lot of game tropes. Another ocean game. Hmm. Here is the very simple concept. Right now, the two two player competitive, but I hope to do a one player versus sharks and a two player cooperative versus sharks. You're a hungry dolphin. The goal is to get more fish than your opponent. You must also compete with hungry sharks who are after your lunch. You all also must surface for air when your air supply runs low. Mm. If you're hit by a shark, you're stunned for a brief moment. Uh, you can collect starfish to use as weapons. You can fire the starfish at your opponent or the sharks to stun them. If you run out of air mm. or lose all your points, uh, if you run out of air, you lose all your points and your accumulated starfish. Mm. Uh, added game options. This is number at the top right. So I'll put it on the screen now. Uh, top right. Game options. The num This is this the number. One? Hold select to change. Tap the button mm. to start. Game one is two-player co competitive. First to 99 wins. 99? Maybe you get a lot of points. Game two is two-player cooperative versus sharks. Dolphins need 99. Sharks need 33 to win. Okay. So let's be cooperative at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooperative? So, that, so we so can we're learn both the game. Getting... Okay, yeah, yeah. I think it adds up cumulatively. Yes. But the sharks need 33 to win. Game three is oh. one player versus sharks. Dolphin needs 99. Sharks need 50 to win. Um, let's see if... I don't think the hmm. instructions change. Nope. And that's what somebody posted was the <laughs> Monty Python fish slapping Excellent. dance. Okay. So two. Oh, no, you have to press the button to start. There we go. Okay, press the button. So I'm on the right. I'm the blinky red. And you've got five We're points now. Yeah. Yep. So you take. Ah! ah. Ah! I'm they frozen. Stun. They stun for a bit. Oh, I have to get air. Oh, crashy crash. Oh. It, uh. Is that the Atari? Oh, weird. Wh what it did was uh, did some line jumping. Whoa! For some reason, we did run out of air, or got really close to running out of air. Oh, four. Where's our point seven? Whoa! It's not doing well. Which what what is it? The Atari? No, it's 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 the programming. He hasn't he's oh. not keeping the line count steady. Oh. So no. when it flips too many lines, oh, it, um, it doesn't know what to do with that signal because it's trying to figure out. Oh, did it just change to PAL? Did it just change to CCAM? Um, did it change resolutions? And is trying to auto detect the new resolution. I keep freezing. Because you're getting hit by eye sharks. Well. You're blue. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. But I think it's crashing when we go up to the top for more air. That's the problem. Is it? Yeah. Oh, no. Just randomly? I'll try and figure out when it's crashing here. Ah. Or is the air at the bottom? No, the air's at the top. What's at the... So we have 33, they have 17. We do? Yeah. 
We haven't used our weapons. Oh, I tr I... Ah! It freezes you, and then yet another one comes by. At least we're kicking their ass. Well, in theory. Oh. Oh, just it just pauses them. Yeah, like it. If know, they hit us, that. we we pause. I'm not too sure how useful that is. Ah. It's really hard to throw it at them. Yeah. Because they're moving so fast. Even actually, so, you're better off dodging them. Yeah, and they actually move away ah. from you at the same speed as yeah. your weapon. So if they're past you, you can never shoot them. You can only shoot them coming on head on. Oh my God, they're fast now. I, I can't just, move. I can't move. They're too, too fast. It's frozen for too ah. long. So oh my God. we collectively have oxygen. Have you noticed that? Oh. So if I just stay at the top, you can get the, the lower stuff. Oh, that's good. Although we lost all our points. How did that happen? What? Or did we win? No. Oh, they, they got 30. They uh, got 30. I thought it was 33. I guess it's 30. I want to start it's over? No, wait, that's weird. Did we loop it? I think so. No, we didn't do that well. Yeah. I'm confused now. Something <laughs> funny is something funny is. Now they have on. 38. What did it say? Oh, the lines are a little. Oh. Little now there. I'm frozen. Why am I frozen? Oh, oh, you looped around. Oh, that's weird. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Oh, oh. it didn't want me to loop the other way. <laughs> that's what's happening. So stay away from the edges yeah. at the top because it's mm -hmm. not it's not detecting that you shouldn't be going there. It's just going, yep, you can do that. I'll go crazy. I can't move. I can't move side to side. I'm stuck. I think you're at a limit. Oh, and it's oh not... now I'm okay. I had looped around and it wouldn't let me go to the go to the uh, right. Yeah, it's it's um... there's there are a few there are a few little bugs in here. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's not it's uh, not done. No. Definitely. But you being at the top getting air is uh it seems to help unless you lose air and you're not aware of it i don't know that's weird is the air the bottom thing uh, oh it's no God. it's the it's the line the oh, okay. line at the top what's the bottom line uh is that yours maybe is that your air yeah that's your air okay that makes more sense now that Let makes more up. sense oh yeah that's my air yeah it's your air okay your air is at the top and i can't move because you're Come getting on. stunned. There we go. Okay, so you are losing air. Yeah, that's So if you died, problem. I think you, you brought us back down to zero. That must be it. Yeah, so you weren't aware that your air is, you've got, you need air desperately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what that beeping is, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the sharks sense. are already past their limit. The game should be over. Oh, you're right. So I think it's just, that's a bug. It, 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 yeah. It went past, past their limit. And didn't end the game. Okay. You're about to die. Uh, up, up. Oh, I did oh. die. Yeah. Oh, and it and resets, it, and it resets to, zero. to zero. So if either either person dies. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. So let's um, Interesting. play game one where we're competing against each other. Okay. No Press. sharks or there are still... There are still sharks. You just have to avoid them. Press button. Uh, also, I note that... Um, See why you froze and I froze. Because <laughs> we got hit by the same shark. No, I don't. I, I was nowhere near it. Really? Yeah. But I'm frozen and you're not, so I don't. There's know something kind of funny going on there for sure. Or something fishy. Fishy. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frozen again. It's because you kept pressing to the side. Yeah, but I... You got stuck in the top left. Don't go there. Yeah, the top left is, is problematic for sure. It is. Oh, my ball looped around. See, <laughs> how can he get me there, but I can't shoot him? I, I don't know. No, now you shot me. Good job. Yeah. Oh, my air. It's a good uh, sound indicator now that I know mm -hmm. what that sounds for. 
72 to 22. Stuck again. I need some fish. Three, almost done. Ooh, you can shoot at an angle. Interesting. Ugh. Twenty-five. Ninety-nine. Oh, good job. <laughs> Ninety-nine, forty-three. Mm -hmm. Switch to my Win 10 laptop. I can finally see the video. Oh, good. By using Android tablet and Twitch TV app, I only got a black screen. You oh, could hear weird. chat and hear the audio. Other That's channels were strange. showing a video. Very strange. Not doing anything uh, special here. Everybody else can see it. Mm. I had a feeling you guys were playing Atari. We mm. are. <laughs> uh, some updates. It won't show video on older hardware. I had this problem. You need to install an older Twitch Android app because the update broke video. Oh, that sucks. My favorite Atari game is Crazy Balloon because it's a good challenge. That is a hard game. Yeah. I do have a, a decent record on that. <laughs> world record. World record. It's not a very good world record. <laughs> So the third game is one player versus okay, press button. One player versus the sharks. Uh, it would be nice to have the players bump up against each other. Oh, yeah. The faster yeah. player bumps the slower player a bit more. The faster player slows down but doesn't go yeah, backwards. A little bit of momentum. Ooh, that would be nice. Actually, some some momentum would be cool too. Um. Because right now there, it's it's like stop or go. There's only one speed. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's using. Right there, there. You're gonna lose all your points, and you lost all your oh. points. They only have three, so you can easily catch up. I know. Um, yes, but I think he's using. He'd have to do software. Um, software collisions because he's using the same player for player one and two. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's hard to tell. I'd have to look on an emulator. Shoot that shark. Get faster. Oh, oh come sped on. Up. Um, yeah, some inertia. I mean, uh, some of the best inertia was, is from uh, Dragon's Descent. That's some really good inertia he's got in there. Um, balloon trip has a good inertia um, procedure as well. Uh, I watched the Sunday stream fine on the tablet, but today it didn't work. I installed, reinstalled, and fixed the problem. I'll see if there's an older version of Twitch TV. It's probably the one of the best looking games I've seen. Uh, what is that one? The yeah. balloon, crazy balloon. Yeah, I'm used to seeing bad Atari games on Angry Video Game Nerd to YouTube. Mm -hmm. I like the little sunset. Yeah, the sunset's the really nice are actually. Nice. Yeah. Um, with the red and orange bands at the top and uh, blue sky just above that. Maybe, oh, maybe it needs to be purple instead of blue. It's too much of a, a jump. Do you find you just have to be within the general vicinity of the shark and you freeze? Like, I, I'm not even I I'm not even colliding with them, really. And, and, and I'll know. freeze. Oh, yeah, you froze there. Like, and you didn't no, I, that, and that, in that case I did. But I've had a few situations where I'm clearly in between them. Now I'm frozen again. <laughs> uh, I'm clearly in between them, but I seem to freeze anyway, which is kind of I weird. I didn't find that too much. I find it a little, like, like... For those who don't know, Jumping the Shark is a meme, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Cafe Man 2D, I still remember watching the original Jumping the Shark episode on TV live. <laughs> I remember seeing it on TV, but I don't think I saw it live. That's on Happy Days. Well, yeah, Happy yeah. Days, yeah, no. I don't think so, but I I, I, I have I watched, seen I have seen the episode for sure. I don't sure. know if I watched any Happy Days live. I know I watched I some 70s, shows. Seventies, right? Seventies. Uh, did it go this into the eighties? So I don't. If it was. I I literally can't move because the sharks keep <laughs> keep running into me. Because they're so fast now. Yeah, I just oh. lost it all. I haven't oh. moved. I haven't moved. It's all the timing. There we go. You want to play? Yep. <laughs> reset. Reset. You want to reset? Yep. Which, uh, Just the right button. Right? Yep. 
Oh, it reset everything. Okay, can you have to select game three, please? Mm -hmm. You need to make this with the joystick options. Which one? Select? Yep, there you go. Press it harder. What is wrong In with the middle of it. Button? It's fine, it's you. Oh my goodness. That requires <laughs> quite a bit of force. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> Just don't know how to but how buttons work. <laughs> yeah, clearly. How? How did yeah. they get points? Well, buttons don't really exist anymore. It's all touch screens. So. It is. How? Oh, they are eating it. They're yeah, they running are. into it. Yeah. Maybe he is using software collisions. There's a lot of flickering because there's a lot of stuff on the screen. Is that the same line? You could be on a line. The fish could be on a line, and also the second player could be on a line. Mm. So that's like uh, four things on the same line. So it's uh, a lot of air needed. So uh, I, I will say there, there are definitely a little things that need tweaking. Yeah. Uh, I like, I like all the, you know, what he's done with with the fish and what they look like and the sharks. sharks I know it's great. quite flickery. Yeah. Uh, I, I, there's probably so they end up looking quite trendy. No, no, no! Up, up, up! No, I'm dead. See, that's what happened to me. Yeah. That's what happened to me. Sometimes it's just pure luck, and you get you get stuck. Oh, yeah. September twentieth, seventy seven. No, I did not see that live. That's for <laughs> sure. I would have been too young to watch that live. Not not born, but too young to even know what I was doing. <laughs> Watching it, that's for sure. Um, so the third game we're going to be playing today is Steak Toss. Mm. Can you turn that off and on again, please? And back. Thank you. Here we go. That should be long enough. Mm. Um, I think we're done the two. EA player games. Smith uh, says you don't have the latest build. Uh, what? What? Lies. Uh, the March <laughs> for March fifteenth build. Uh, That's what we played, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, Unless you just updated it. Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Fish slapping down. Uh, last one was posted on Sunday, March 15th. Oh. That's Do the we one have the wrong bit? It's the one you picked, right? Go down. Press it. Fish fight. The lowest one. Yeah. yeah March 15th. Yeah. Unless you reset it or no. You didn't reset it. The, the, the crash was fixed and the game ends when the sharks get r the right number of points. Mm. Hmm. That's... Oh, okay. That was when we were playing two-player competitive. No, two-player cooperative, right? Mm. And... Okay, press it. I edited it a few days ago with the bug fix. Same post, though. Oh. oh. So maybe we don't actually have the latest one if it's if it's got the same date oh, on it. Oh, we don't. Oh, that's why it was Yeah. cleverly... Masks. Updated. Yeah. <laughs> I that see. would explain it. Yeah, Monday the 16th is the latest one. Mm. Okay, well, um, yeah, we could play that one mm. quickly. Yeah, sorry about that. Yep. So let's just download that. So. Atari, 2600, homebrew, fish fight, 16th. That's why I don't have the update. That makes a lot of sense. It's version 4. And eject. Plug back in the Atari. Press the button. Mm -hmm. Atari Alex. You should have a latest binary Dropbox to which authors can send you stuff for the show. That is actually a really good idea. <laughs> I have, I never thought of that. It's still the, the 15th? Oh, what? Oh, I didn't actually transfer it to the card. <laughs> I just saved it. Oops. Thank you, Andrew. That is a really good idea. I will think about the, the best way to set that up. 
um, a way that people can just send send, send, send something. Them. Yeah, so that's a good idea. That I can make sure I do have the latest one. Yeah. That is a really good idea. Mm-hmm. Because some of them, you know, I, I'm i pretty good about not missing updates because I check every day on uh, in the forums and all of the um, Facebook groups as well. But there are people who don't do either of those. And just having somewhere they can send them to is a great idea. Okay, hold it. Uh, yeah, Mighty Funster agrees. It is a great idea. Yes. Sorry, I was frantically trying to log in. The Facebook login <laughs> no longer works. Okay. Uh, so we now have the newest version. And there we, we go. We'll do a quick. What 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 do you want to play? It's the second. Um, the second. Yeah. Yeah, this button's not great. Okay. Oh, was it? Yeah. That's a, that's that's no, the cooperative, right? It's two. Wasn't that two? No, it was one. I think. Oh. I thought one was just oh, no. single player. Okay. I think it's two. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna wait for you. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> that doesn't help. I just need to get air. Air, yeah, get your air. There we go. Co-op. Woo! Ugh. So what happened is that we died because we ran out of air. And then they continued on. But yeah. Past 30? So do we want them to get to 30 and, and well, show Well, we don't that? really... I don't know if we want to... We need to test that out. He says, he says <laughs> he's don't fixed know. it, right? If it's so, fixed, then I'll assume it's fixed. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just play a game yeah. and try and fix. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I keep getting frozen. Oh my god! So air is really important. Like it is. If you are near the top, just get air. Yeah. But there was another bug we found where you could loop around if you go to the top left. Come on. Yeah, I was looping around. Nope, no, nope. I'm not. Okay, so let's fix that one too. That's, That's good. good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Yeah. Oh, another fast. Oh my god. No, they won. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay, so they beat us anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's pretty challenging, yeah. actually. We I got like 53. It. Let's try I that like again, actually. What? You want to try to get 99? Yeah, I want okay. to beat them. <laughs> now that it's working. Can you press the button? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. No, I mean to reset it. There we go. Oh. I think we're the same game. Sorry, I thought you meant you were turning it back on and off. Oh no, with, uh, is this game one? No, it's game two. It's still game two. I don't think so. Get some air. No. Don't get that. We're I'm cooperative. To... No, isn't we're it? not. No. Oh. Because you can't reset it. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, reset resets game one, which is an issue. It doesn't reset what your last choice was? Yeah. Okay. There's another thing to fix. <laughs> EA Smith. <laughs> reset resets to game one rather than the last game you mm -hmm. played. Yeah, so put that on the to-do. Um, it's nice that the button um, starts the game. But you could make it so left and oh, right um, picks the option rather than the select key. Okay, we're doing not too bad, but we need to be a little bit faster. Air, 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 air. Come on. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I'm gonna... No. Just holding up. You can shoot him. While I'm frozen? Oh, I can. Yeah, you can. Did air. I make it? We just yeah, made just. it. Oh. oh, you can shoot while you're frozen. Yeah, you that can. changes everything. Yeah, but you have to be facing in the right direction. That's true. No, no, you can shoot. Oh, you do. And you only get one, right? Uh, no, in this one you get unlimited. No, you you have to pick them up. Oh nope. my goodness, I, I cannot move. No, you get unlimited. You don't have to pick them up in this one. Go up. There we go. So you frozen on me. Sorry, I needed <laughs> to get air. <laughs> you froze the shark right on me. Hey, they're almost winning. No! Ah, oh, the 
they almost got that one. Oh no! 82. We could. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shoot the sharks! Shoot the sharks with the stuff. You have to pick them up. Yeah, you yeah. have to. If you act, if you shoot the one you have, then you don't have another one if you're frozen. Do you know what I mean? Oh, if you're frozen. You only get one shot once you have it, at least from what I can tell. Echo, echo the dolphin. Echo the dolphin, yeah. I love how we, got, we both one got more. that reference. Yep. <laughs> Oops. Come on. Yeah, that button's bad. One more try? Yep, one more try. Alrighty. Let's do it. Oh, you can accumulate stars. I always thought you just had one. Oh, but, accumulate them. But, but when the dot's gone, they're gone, right? I assume? Yeah. Frozen. How about we split up the screen? Like, I'll take know. the right, you take the left. Okay. Because then we can get keep them away from the sharks a lot better. Well, kind of. They really freeze you for a while sometimes. Oh. Doing a little bit better this time. So frozen. Frozen dolphins. Poor dolphins. You're safe at the top. I think you're safe at the top. Uh, usually. Oh. See, I swear I was in between those They're sharks. They're almost winning. They're almost won. That's no. really fast. Oh, they almost won. They just need one more. No, no, no. Ah. Oh, yeah, well, choose halves. Close. That's what we did. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got almost to 80 again. We seem to get to 80, but 33. It's hard to beat them. One more. <laughs> Come on, you've got to save time for rage quitting later. So. Yes, I know. <laughs> Press button. Press Ready button. off to bed. I'm frozen right away. Yeah, because I have to shoot have to, shoot to start, and, and you're directly across from me, so you always get shot when I start the <laughs> That's game. That's why. It's funny. Uh, it's actually pretty funny. Kind of. <laughs> okay, you stay on that funny side. Funny for me. I'm trying to. Oh, no, I got frozen. Uh, I got frozen again. Oh, got it. Damn it. My fish. My fish, get it. Stop being so frozen. Ah. Uh. Almost there. Yeah, now that now they now go they're crazy. Going crazy. Yeah. Oh, they just got a ton. Oh no. They're gonna win. No! Get those! No! <laughs> yeah. No, stop being oh. <laughs> oh, so close. It's very good balance. Because you, you can almost win against them cooperatively. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good balance. It is There's a black meter at the top, brown meter at the bottom. Uh, the bottom one was my air supply, player two. Yeah, and, and the yours... top one is mine. I think yeah. it's blue, but it looks it looks black with the shading on the screen, but uh, or the way the way it looks. But yeah, because yeah. I think it's a blue fish and a red fish. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna move on to steak toss. Steak toss. Any chance of the sharks moving smoothly on and off the screen? Oh, rather than blipping on, mm -hmm. that would help a lot, actually. Yeah. Um, so Steak Toss is, uh, this is a remake, this is by Sknarp, uh, first posted March 16th, 2020, this build is from March 17th, it's a 4K game, other games, at, at Attacks, Attacks, Pixel, Ninja Pit Jumper, which we have played before, mm -hmm. and Steak Toss and Steak Toss Remake, if you steak press the button. Steak Toss. Oh, I've got the Atari box again, now that we've played properly the game <clears throat> oh steak i was thinking uh, of like oh, yeah. the food uh, a, a beef steak <laughs> no it is not <laughs> like what are you who are you throwing is it to a lion like <laughs> um lion you can get this toss? in the atari age forums and i will yeah. load it up go for it go for it mm -hmm. i should have seen that before but anyway funny um 
So I wrote the first version of Steak Toss within 48 hours of downloading Batari Basic for the very first time. Mm. It was just me following along with the available information to see what could be created quickly. And while I was impressed at how easy and quick it was to learn the language and get mm. to a finished binary, it kind of sucked. A lot. My solution thus rewrite the game Steak Toss by starting over fresh. Zero reused code. So it's got a little title mm -hmm. screen there with where it flips through. Yeah. How much how many points you uh, get as well for each different thing and that's like blood dripping down is it so kills 10 points oh, shield 10, 10 point room, room up, up 50 points stake, stake 100 points um i'll be do let's see uh create something that feels like the same game but plays in a much more satisfying way I'll be doing this by using space saving tricks, adding more gameplay elements, and generally just taking more than two days for development. I'll be calling this Steak Toss 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, current development, oh, let's see, how to play. Press the fire button after the title screen is displayed, displayed for at least 1.5 seconds, but before the rule screen shows up after about 10 seconds to start the game. You play as the slayer of the undead with an enchanted steak weapon. Oh, nice. Uh, holding the fire button will cause the stake to move in a straight line downward from where it was released from your hands. Releasing the fire button causes the stake to return back to the slayer's hand. The slayer... I'm just making sure the volumes are right. The slayer can use a shield which blocks four hits from the undead, of which you've used them all, it looks like. Oh, there's oh, the shield. Oh, that's a shield. Oh, there you go. And there's the four hits. Uh, while carrying the shield, you'll take no hit point damage. Once the shield takes its four hits, it breaks and your hit points become vulnerable. Contact with any undead except with your stake we weapon will result in a hit occurring on you. You just got hit twice. Why are you so close to the bottom? Well, twice the whole game. Ooh, this guy's big. You can move up. Ah! <laughs> uh, kills and rooms. After each undead is killed, the next undead spawned will be slightly tougher and faster. Oh, you get your shield back. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually they'll start to get larger as well. When 40 kills happens in the same room, the north side of the map opens, allowing you to go to the next room. Hold it down, and it goes further. Does it? Yep. Oh, I see. That's why you're so close. I, 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 I uh, didn't... Yeah, the holding down thing. Yeah. Whoa, oh, he's getting a big... big. Getting big. Item, silver stake. Extremely deadly to any undead. Upgrade your enchanted wooden stake. If you kill 45 item enemies in one room, don't go through the north door when it opens at 40. Instead, keep, instead keep killing the extra large undead. A silver stake will drop on the ground in the lower left corner of the map. Once picked up, it will be equipped until you die. It will do massive damage to any undead it hits. Oh, that's good to know. Without the silver stake, the undead can take many hits to be put down. Mirror Polished Shield. The brilliantly reflective metal brings the light into the darkness, effective on completely negating damage from the undead for up to four hits. If you lose your shield, simply wait a few moments. Eventually a new shield will respawn in the bottom right corner. Pick it up to equip it. There are no health re restorations, so shielding is the only way to stay alive longer. Interesting game. So, uh, people are saying, back up! Crack Drafter says. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm figuring that out. Andrew okay. Davies says, I'd like to see some ment momentum inertia that might be interesting. Also, when paralyzed, perhaps you could float upward slowly. Oh, that would be interesting. I love the shark graphics. The blue of the sea is a bit strong for my liking, but it's fun to watch. Good job. Yeah, it was a great, great game. Lots of fun. Hmm. So what happens? You have to kill 40 and then the other room opens? Yeah, kill 40. Oh. And then the top opens. And then if you don't go through the top, and kill five more. If you don't go through the top. And kill five more of them, you'll get a much uh, better weapon. I don't know how many I've killed. Neither do I. I guess oh, we could figure it out oh, by uh, <laughs> figure it out by points, but. Actually, it's almost easier. No. The shield will come back soon. Soon. There. Not there soon enough. Not <laughs> soon enough. Uh, uh, cheat codes. You can enter cheat codes by pressing certain bun button combinations during the rules screens as follows. Hold up and press fire on the kill screen. Start with 39 kills. So you can skip ahead. Oh, jeez. Hold down and press fire well on the shield screen. Start with the shield. 
That's not a big, big advantage. You start pretty quick with the shield. Hold left and press fire while on the room screen. Start with the second room. Ah, skip the whole room. Right and fire while on the stake screen. Start with the silver stake. You can apply any combination of cheats you wish to use. They will be applied when you start from the title screen. Oh, you can accumulate them. So you can start with all four cheats if you want to. That's really interesting. Um, and you can download this binary in the Atari Age forums. So you're still in room one. Haven't got your 40 kills really? yet. Really? My goodness. This does take a while. <laughs> Uh, you have to Maybe kind of too many. Ah! Wait, what are you doing? Ah, I bled out. Oh, nice. <laughs> Two oh five. Is that your head on the ground? So wait, if I I must have had forty because if it's five per kill, oh, it's ten per shield though. Oh, you get. Is points. that what it said? Ten per shield. Okay, so I wasn't quite at forty. I must have been reasonably Let's close. Let's see forty if it is had quite points. a few. Um, yeah, points, it's not bad. Points, points, uh, it, a lot it doesn't of it say is, anything um, about points. It's interesting because you have to shoot down and on the right side of the body. So you have to continually position yourself so that you can hit it. Because they... They... They go towards you. So right. you constantly have to move to the right. And then if they get too high up or too far to your right, you can't hit them and you have to yeah. move back down. So. I noticed that when I was testing this out. Yeah. If you go here, you will you can't hit them. No, because they, they get directly beneath you and then your stake doesn't actually hit them anymore. So, But it, it, it makes for an interesting dynamic because you have to constantly move. Shift to the right. You constantly have to shift and then you have to kind of move and have them get drawn back to you down, down to the bottom so you can then you know move yourself back to the top of the screen. Yeah, you have to constantly it's, be it's, backing up. It's it's not necessarily difficult. It is as they get faster. Yeah. Um, but yeah, More if they here. start on that side of the screen, you have to kind of draw them over. I kind of like their their movement is a little bit erratic, which is um, it's good. Is good. Yeah, that's good. Come down again. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of random times between when they move. Yeah. I do like the kill, the kill screen though. The, <laughs> the head with the blood spurting, spurting out of it. Out. That's pretty awesome. Uh, hey. Um, the variety of enemies is good. I think he, he, uh, he messaged me just yesterday because he did an update because it was all just one enemy. Mm in the version before this so if you haven't uh if you downloaded this already he he did update it so that there's a variety of enemies now i think they were all just ghosts or something i can't remember what they come on down come on come on come on they might have been all helmets i can't remember what it was Maybe you can figure out how many points I get per kill. It's supposed to be five. Five per Is kill. Is that five? Yeah. Okay. I, I, sorry, I should be paying attention. It did say <laughs> ten for a shield, so so I probably still had a few kills left to hit 40, but... You get points for a shield? It's, that, that's what it, it said. Up? It said ten for the shield, so I'm guessing you pick oh. it up, you get ten. I don't know. So I'll, I'll pay I, attention. So I'll pay attention. I lose the shield no, and get but I'll, I'll no, but <laughs> I'll pay attention when you pick up a shield if you if you get points. I also like the fact that you don't run out so of stakes. So I've got twenty. I've killed twenty now. Well, if you didn't get ten points. For oh the shield. right. That's what I'm saying. Is I hit two hundred right at the end. I was at two hundred five, but I think the shields meant that I didn't quite hit forty kills. So. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah. Come here. Come on. Come over here. Come on. Actually, the bigger ones are easier to hit. Yeah, they are. I mean, sometimes they're a bit <laughs> they faster, faster and more erratic, but if they're not, then they're actually easier to hit. If they're slow, they're quite easy ah. to hit. Yeah. A lot more shots. Hits, though. So this guy, to me, looks like a cavern entrance. <laughs> he's, a, he's a helmet, I think. With two yeah, little maybe. eye holes. 
And the He's like one of the knights who say knee. <laughs> uh, no, no. What is what is it? The black? The no. Um, uh, why are we on a Monty Python theme right now? I think it's the fish slapping. Um, black knight. The black knight. Uh, this guy's definitely a ghost. Viking helmet. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Viking yes helmet. I like the Viking helmet. Yeah. I haven't been hit once, so that's good. The Viking helmet. I'm almost there. repetitive yeah and this dude i'm not really sure he looks ghost. like he he's looks a wide ghost oh he yeah yeah I, he looks a bit like an anchor with a face <laughs> but um and that's a big helmet i still think he looks like a cavern entrance <laughs> that uh, makes no sense <laughs> oh well makes less sense or, less or sense he's the black a knight i like the black knight too this guy's a skeleton for sure yeah um Big wide skeleton. He's the anchorman. <laughs> uh, he needs a big mustache then. Yeah. Come on over here. Come on. I think they move drinky, drinky, more. Drinky. Yeah. When you move more. Maybe not. It just seems like. Yeah, I think they do. No, because I can stop moving and they don't move. Yeah. Any slower. I see a snake head. From that this? guy? Or maybe that uh, guy. Yeah, Atari can be a bit horseshacky, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's what you see it, you know? True. Ow! Oh, he gotcha. Got my first hit. Come on. It is what you see it as. Yay! So oh, okay, so yet. you want to get five. This is the first one. Oh, oh! that was accidental. <sighs> what is so, this? So I'm in the second room, and I don't have a good weapon. No. But now they're above me. They're above you? Are they you start... shooting up? You probably have to get ahead a of above it. Yeah, but I want him to come down so I have some room. But he's not, because it's kind of the game reset again, right? Mm. That guy looks oh. like a giant infant with a diaper. <laughs> the hero? And uh, it's, it's, the shield he has is kind of neat because it's a different color than him. But it's using the missile. It's, it's the, the color, ball. it's the background, where I don't know what you call that, but, but it, the play color field. changes, the play field, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means, because it's matching the play field, that means it's the ball. And it's using the missile as your weapon. Oh, I see. It gives them places to hide on the in the corners, sort of. Oh, maybe or they maybe can't not. hide now. Uh, the game's a bit tedious. It might be better with the uh, silver uh, stake. Yeah. I really do think the guy should have a blonde ponytail, but that's <laughs> that might be challenging. Be Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So room two doesn't seem any different than room one. Oh, Magneto's, the Magneto, Magneto's helmet, yeah. Oh, Magneto. Magneto, sorry, yeah. I was reading it, yeah, that's right. Magneto's helmet. Like, like there's zero difference other than what the look is for room two. Mm. The enemies are the same, they're acting the same. Kind I mean, he of, just... And they're moving, they're moving fairly slowly to start two. They're not as fast as at the end of the last room. Yeah, it kind of reset. Yeah. But I mean, he only just put this game out, so it's neat. I, I, he does have I, a lot uh, of to do's. Um, the basic I, premise is good. No, I like the premise, and I, I like the um, the action of the game, like like how he throws the stake and yep. and you know the, the, the challenge, and 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 I find the enemies are just erratic enough that that they're not like Makes you it... might be shooting, but you're not hitting them because they're kind of jumping around a bit. So yeah, um, I like the tracking. Pretty good. I really wanted that silver steak. But yeah. you don't have to go through the door. You just have to go up. And that was my mistake. I was backed against the wall at the top. Oh. And, and I you pressed just, up. just went slightly up, yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to go through the entrance if you're going to play this. Just watch out for that. Uh, I don't know how long I should play this for. <laughs> well, uh, how, is it another 40 to the next room or? Uh, that's what I'm guessing. It doesn't say Do that. Do you want to see if you can make it to the next room? Yep, sure. Then we'll stop there.
You haven't. Uh, no, kill. You've been with the same shield for quite a while, haven't you? Yeah, I've only got hit twice. Yeah, you've been pretty good. So, no, no, I mean like you yeah. should be just over. F if it's forty and five each, 400. over four hundred, minus whatever shields. Yeah. One yeah. Two. Let's let's get to room three. I agree. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's our goal. Our goal is room three. Room at least. three. Yeah. And I want to kill five more after it opens up. Yes. To try and get that silver. Oh, they're stamp. getting faster. They're getting bigger and they're getting faster now. Oh, we gotcha. These, he moves a lot faster. Ah. He does. I swear they move faster when you're above them than when you're down. Because when I'm down. No, no, he's moving fast. Oh, he is too. <laughs> Watch out. The ah. cavern door is coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, can't do that. Yeah, that's a challenging uh, start position because you, he's, you can't just jump and jump ahead of him and get him. <gasps> he's a fast moving one. Come like on. I said, I do like the slightly the erratic behavior does mm -hmm. give it a bit of a challenge. A little bit of randomization of yeah. when they move and how far they move. Yeah. Oh. Back. Mm -hmm. You back? No, my shoulders. Oh. It's a stressful day at work. Uh, I've got all my tension right here. In the shoulders. In the shoulders. You're carrying your tension in your shoulders. I know. It's Wednesday. I'm like, can I... Is it fair for me to have a beer on Wednesday night? Oh. Uh-oh. I have no shield. Uh-oh. I need to make Oh, he's it, naked. Make it reappear. Oh, he does have abs. Well, I assume that's what those are supposed to be. Got my that shield. or he's actually a skeleton. A brown <laughs> skeleton running around. That's right. It could be. Covered in mud. Are they skeletons? Now that is a big baby, yes. That's a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the anchorman's back. Ooh. One, two, three, That's four, a... five. It's quite a few hits. Yeah. So you must be hitting 40 very, very soon. Very, very soon. I don't soon. know how many shields you've gotten, but um, uh, two one, or three? Two total. Are you in your third or are nope. you in your second? Second. Oh. So this might be the last guy. You might have to get... Yeah. Or it or might maybe. be more for room two. So you have to might might have to get more. No, you're getting five points per per. So it depends how many shields. So maybe you got then maybe this is your third shield. Uh no. Nope. No. Well we'll we'll find out. Maybe yeah you're right maybe you need more than forty. No I don't we'll see. When they're big it makes it much more difficult because they just move take up so much more of the screen. But I do like the big enemies. Yeah. And you have big enemies in, in the Atari. It's, it... Cafe Man 2D. I am assuming they are skeletons. But, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the hero? The baby. The one that looks like a big baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> but he, had, he hasn't named them. He hasn't anything. named them. I actually think he should. I think they should have um, fanciful names. <laughs> um, maybe that can be on the box Ow! or in the, in the... If that ever happens. That's right. Yeah. We'll, fi we'll find out by the box art. It's not in the case. Oh! <laughs> I was so near the top. Oh, what is that no. Thing? Oh, oh it's a baddie? Yeah. Oh. Looks like he's stuck. Okay, I made it to room three, and I messed up again because it forced me near the top, and I, I just happened to be near the top. Are they the same? They're the same enemies? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a baby no, again. Same. Okay, made it to room three. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. You can check out the cheats if you want. Hmm? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll... Oh, there's no reset. You have to die. I am going to die. Okay. Come on, get me. Come on. Come on. Come on, big baby. <laughs> yeah, he went. Okay, so press the button. Okay. Okay, now leave it. Mm -hmm. Okay, the press up and fire when the kills screen... When is when it's on the kill screen? Up and fire, and then down and fire. Sorry, wait for the shield again. The shield, and down and it's fire. Up, then down, then left, then right. Up, on fire, each of down, those screens. left, right. Okay. Okay. Up, fire, down, fire. Left fire, right fire. Now you're holding down and pressing the button, not left, then fire, right? Yeah. 
So you're holding up and pressing fire? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, now press the button to start. Yep. Now don't go up. I actually you already have the, the special weapon. Actually, we shouldn't have done that. We should have started without the special weapon and then picked it up. So shoot that guy. Oh, I'm already it? in level three. Um, yes, know. you are, yeah. So this starts you with 39 kills. So you're right at the end of whatever level you're on. You start with the shield, and you start in the second room, and you start with Come the on. silver stake. The silver stake kills in one shot, it looks like. Yeah, well... Yeah. At least on these guys. That counts as graphic violence for the Atari. Yeah, if that came out in the 80s, oh, yeah. it would be like, oh my god. Yeah. It would be given a rating. Yes. The 80s. It would have Actually, kicked off the rating more... system. Yeah, that's true. I always thought the 90s were... That's when it was implemented. Yeah. Was in the 90s, the rating When things system. really went out of, got out of control and all the... It was, Parental uh, boards started getting excited. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Was yeah. I? Because I'm reading a book about it called the the First Quarter. Yeah. It's all about everything, mostly arcade in the beginning, but then it goes into consoles, and it does have a whole chapter about um, the rating system that came in. Yeah. And people fighting against violence in video games. So far, one hit, one kill. Yeah. Okay, so well, maybe that's what the Silver State does. Is that the book by Stephen Kent? Let me go get it. Yes, uh, that name sounds familiar. I think we picked it up at um, uh, yeah, what's that store? That the bookstore. Uh, I don't know why. The big one. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what is wrong with me? There you go. Yeah, it's by Stephen Kent. Excellent book. Uh, you can see I'm almost done. Yeah. Oh, you. I've like one chapter left. Oh, yeah. I think I'm just before the last chapter. Chapter end of chapter 28. It's a really, really good book. Barnes and Noble? No, it's uh, it's a one-off store. It's it's a whole. Why can I not think of the name? Powell books. Powell's. Powell's books. Yeah. A whole city block. Oh, it's amazing. In Portland, Oregon. It is incredible. Yeah. yeah. One hit. One kill. No, some, oh. of them, some of them have taken more, for but sure. much better. Oh, jeez. Well, you've got everything, so there's no point in hanging around there. Go to level four. Let's see it. Ah. Don't die. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Stop. There. So this is like level two again. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Ready? Are we going to die? I want to see the kill screen again. Okay. Bleed out. Bleed Lose out. your shield. I know. Come on. Come get me. Um, get me. But if there you're ever in go. Portland... <laughs> oh, such graphic violence. Yes. I guess that's his head on the ground there. Beside him. Yep. Kind of a different color. Yeah. That's pretty good. Lots of fun to be had. Press the button. Uh, oh, yeah. And now we are going to play... <laughs> Tire tracks. And we're going to be going for our patches. So I'm going to let you play first. <laughs> so go to the last version. You can press to the right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, now, I'm. this is not the cartridge version. I don't know. Not that one. We're not PAL. It's NTSC. I don't know. Yes, you do. I can never you remember. You live in NTSC land. I, I can never remember which, which land we're in. <laughs> um... So from the Atari Age uh, store page, it says, mm -hmm. join the Muddy Vision Trackmasters. Tracks Masters. If you succeed at achieving a gold cup in games mode 1, 2, 3, and 4, send us a picture of your television screen. Gold cup in 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, of each okay. of the gold, and we'll enroll you in the exclusive Track Masters Club and send you a Muddy Vision Tracks Masters patch mm -hmm. while stocks last. Mm -hmm. You must be playing on a real Atari, which we are. Which we are. And the system should be visible in your picture. Let's make the system visible. There we go. And our system is visible. There we go. And the game is visible at the same time. Yes. But this is the beta version. Okay. It's almost the last version. I don't know if it counts. 
it probably doesn't. This isn't the cartridge version. I didn't pay for it. You don't have a cartridge of it? No, I don't. Mm. No. So I don't know if I can really earn it properly, but this is pretty much the game. Yeah. I don't expect them to send me anything because <laughs> I didn't buy it. Yeah. And you should have to buy the game. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. I also don't have Astronomer either. You just yeah yeah yeah. I'm yeah. just I'm just earning the equivalent yeah. of the patch. Yeah. So I don't expect to have the get the patch, but we're gonna play it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's quite a few. I thought the first quarter was the first edition. Might be a later edition. Did, same book, different name. Interesting. Oh, the ultimate history of video games. Uh, it says a 25 year history of video games. This one is the subtitle. Yes. Um, this is the first edition, first printing. 2001. Uh, 2000. Or two, isn't it? Copyright oh. 2000. Okay, so 2001. Sorry. Nope. Nope, just my So eyes. if they renamed it or added to it, they may have changed it, but this is the first printing. So. Mm. Uh, don't know is still for sale. They do have a lot of old books in Powell. Well, books. yeah, there's a lot of um, um, first editions and well, used books. Well, they they sell a lot of used books, which yeah. is why they have such a huge, massive, massive just so good supply of books. You you every book you'd ever want, pretty much. So, so the yeah. patches aren't actually even made for this game yet. But, yeah. But they and but two people have earned them in the ah, forums at least. Nice. Yeah. Um, and it is. S. Ramirez and Leo the Low have posted their screenshots, but that's the only people. So let's give it a go and see if we can do it ourselves. First, so you hold down the button to accelerate, and you cannot let go of the button if you wish to get the gold. Oh, oh that's <laughs> hilarious! Okay, I, I. Into the drink. I've watched you. So you're just avoiding? Can you jump? Nope, just avoid. Oh. Get the gold. No, oh, so close. It's okay. Hit the dashins. The dashins. Dash huns. Third place. Okay. And this game has beautiful colors. Great parallax scrolling. Is um, it random? Nope. It's not random. Not on the um, competition. Not the one where you were in a pack. And you went right into them. Oh, you can't pass that. You have to go Top down. Top or bottom. Top or bottom. Okay. Let's try again. Prow7 seven, Prow seven says, yeah, this looks great. Yeah, he has incredible uh, colors and great use of verti verticality. That was easy. You did it. My turn. <laughs> it feels like it changes, though. The dashins weren't in the same place. No. no. Are fixed, you sure? Fixed race. Oh. Exactly the same. No, yeah, you're right. They just look the same. Maybe the uh, graphics I, haven't changed? It's, it's, yeah, because there was three sets of dashes at one point. Maybe, I don't know. The, there you go. So, I don't know what you got. I think the times are exactly the same as you. But it's you it's the cup. You have to get the gold cup. You have right? to get the gold cup in okay. each of the race. So we'd go to We're game two. To two. Ooh, what's that? Sunset, reflecting off the water. Ooh, that's fancy. And the colors in this one are incredible. Ah. The sunset colors of the pinks and the clouds, the reflection of the sunset on the bottom of the clouds is Ooh. incredible. Uh -huh. Second. Now try it again. Close. Can you control the speed? Uh, it's kind of an off and on. Yeah. It does accelerate and decelerate. But if you want to get first place, you have to. Oh, oh I went too far. It's dolphin from the other game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got okay. the dolphin back. Yep. So if you let go of the button, it'll slow down just a little bit. Um, but I, in these fixed races. I believe you don't need to slow down. Oh, no, no. There's enough Too room. High. There's enough room to make it. I think that was pretty close if you didn't hit that one thing. Sorry. Great, cal great graphics. Colors work well. Patrat says yes. Really good. Oh, I think Boo. that's... No, no, no it doesn't matter. Rage quit. Rage quit. Just go in the water. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. 
Just go in the water. Uh, yeah, good one. <laughs> I love an I love that screen. I love that screen. Beautiful. I just find with these games you get oh, you you get on um like a losing streak. Do. I don't know what it is. It's like you're just not fast enough. A lot of attention to detail, color the bottoms of clouds for the sunset, yeah. And and using the the right colors too. Like for the bottom of the clouds is just perfect colors. Like you would see Barely. those colors in, in real life. You're gonna do no! Oh! One, oh! one away! One away! Oh. I love that. That's really that's a really awesome. One. The water death screen is a nice touch. It's yeah, beautiful. It's really good. Uh, Muddy Funster made a special Halloween edition for us of oh, this yeah, game. Yeah. When when we did our um, 2018 uh, Halloween oh, no. show. Yeah, it's 2018 Halloween show. He made it all Halloween themed. Every level had a Halloween theme. And, uh, it was really great. Game sounds a bit... Oh, sorry. Yeah, it is loud. Some some games are louder than others. Depending on what they set it to. Woo! You did it! So Thank the, you for letting me know, the, DS Killers. Um, the... What do you call Pattern? it? Sprites? The oh. icons, whatever, that are flying by? Yep. Um, they do change, but the, oh. but the, the placement is always the same. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, these are so cute. The dash ends are the best. Oh, you did it on the first shot. Good job. <laughs> the next one I don't think I'll be able to do on the first shot. Is it hard? Yeah. It's a, a bit harder. Yeah. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Yep. Way to go. Great trees. This is the snow level. There's a shark in the water. And there's some pine trees going by, and some kind of grayish, dark clouds, and a nice little sunset. A little bit of a jump Ooh. there, but this is not the final version, so oh, I'm sure fix this up. And some, some bears. It is faster. Some big ducks. Show off, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have got first place on level one, two, and three before when we when we played this last. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten first place on level four. So oh, that's, that's, a, that's a tough one there. So that's still something I need to do. Um, so this um, version that we're playing is available on the Atari H forums. It's not the final version. It's version 273, and I think the final one's like 279 or something. I love when they do version because then you know. And even put the version on the front of the screen, like in the graphics. Just just love it because then you know exactly. Oh, third. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so this was first posted uh, September 1st, 2018. Um, you can get a boxed copy still. There's still boxed copies of, uh, available in the store. Uh, the Atari Age store, they're $50. Oh, it's ah, down too much. Down, up, middle. Yeah, you have to memorize this pattern. It's so fast. It's like playing Battletoads. Um, <laughs> Second, I think in this, it starts earlier on the screen. Like when they come on the screen. Maybe. It, they don't come from... They move faster for sure. Like yeah. they hit you faster. Yep, they start about three quarters on the screen so you have less reaction time. Like level... Oh. I should have went for the bottom there. Level one, they start right off the screen. Level two, a little bit on. This one, about three quarters in. So level four starts even closer in. And I think there's Again. more sets of threes. Right off. <laughs> Does a shark eat you? Oh, you should let it uh, let it go next time. What? To see if when the shark you die. eats you? Yeah. I think it just swims by oh, that. Because they're right in the middle. Ah. Uh. Second. I'm gonna give it to you just just for you to do for a bit, okay. so I can take a break at some point. 
Yeah, level three and four require memorization. Fuck down. Oh, see? This one, because they're right in the middle, and I keep thinking I have to go down, up down. instead of down. Because it looks like you can't. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, in the water. Okay, wait. Still a dolphin. That's not sure. No. And he swims He swims across at the top, so I don't... He doesn't go for you. Is he a shark or is he bubbles. a boat? He looks like a boat. Well, it could be a faraway boat, but then those <gasps> trees would again, be massive. Again, This is annoying. Those three make me think I need to go above. You think on the back-to-back -back threes you have to ease, up, ease off a shade? I don't think you do. If you know that you have to go to the top, I think you can make it all the way. Oh, Maybe no. Not. You just eased off a bit, right? So... I think I hit it. That's why I eased off. <laughs> oh, this I, is I don't know. We'll f we'll find out whether you have to ease off or not. Third. We will see. Well, you got you got first, so you would know. Yeah, it's been a long time since I played this. The last time we played this, I looked in the records. It was when we we're doing the nomination run through for the 2018 Atari Awards. Now was in January of 2019, so it's been over a year since we played this game. So I can't remember <laughs> whether or not I had to slow down or not. But I don't remember having to slow down. But I'll tell you right away when it's my turn, because there is a. That was good. Oh, I just hit hit twenty one. on the dot. You have to be under twenty. I don't know. <laughs> you just have to hit nothing. Pretty much it's have gotta to hit be, nothing. But you it might be able to slow down it must the be, It must be on the... It is on the time, though, right? Oh, I did again. <laughs> it goes 9999 when you, when you die. What does? Sorry. Oh, I just the time. Me up. <laughs> <laughs> when you hit... When you die and go into the water, it goes 9999. Does it? As your, as your best score. As your score. So well. Oh. Oh, I think you're one. right. You can't hit a single thing. That was good. Yes. Yeah, <sighs> she did a good job. How long have you been into 2600 and playing homebrew games, James? I don't remember you mentioning this in the past. We probably mentioned it like really early on, like oh. two and a half years ago when we started this. Um, in I'll answer the first one. Into 2600. Um, the I, homebrew. When did you start? Well, no, with an it's interest. Two, two different questions. Yeah. Into twenty six hundred. I never had one as a kid. I the first one I remember playing was my aunt's Atari twenty six hundred when I was really stay when I was living in Calgary or when I would visit my grandparents in Calgary as a kid. Yeah. In the summer times, because my parents mm. would ship me off to Calgary for freedom <laughs> for them. Um, and that was, you know, when I was like, that was after I left Calgary. Maybe I played it before that. Anyway, it was around six years old or younger, which would make it late 70s. So it would be 78 or 9. So it wouldn't be right away. It would have been um, the late 70s, possibly 1980. And that's when I first played the Atari. I played in television before that because my neighbor across the street, but that was when I was living in Calgary. When I was like six, seven years old, eight years old. So my biggest exposure was to be in television at first. But that would have been in 1979, because that came out in 79. Oh, um, I hit 19. something. 19.8. I, but I got first. Uh, so it is 20. Woo! <laughs> so that's three for me. Um, uh, I did just briefly hit and get slowed down by one item. Oh, wow. Um, it that's was one of the terrible lenient. three, and, but but it just, I just clipped it. Oh, so it probably, yeah, yeah, it wasn't a full slowdown, so... Yay! Um, and then I got my own Atari. I don't know if I can talk and do this. We'll see. 
You got your own Atari, eventually. Now you can talk. <laughs> you got it right away. Look at that. Show off. <laughs> By point one. I, I would like to say, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've played this game. So okay. this is not obviously a super hard um, <laughs> patch to get if it's uh, just one, two, and three. So uh, If it was one, two, and three, but there's another level. It, oh, you have to do one, two, three, and four? Yes. Oh, I thought you said it was just one, two, no, three. No, no, oh, no. So four is the challenging. No. Okay. Excellent. Now you're in for some pain. Yeah. Now I'm in for some pain. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, now, it's dark. Yes. Dark and shadowy trees. This is kind of more the Halloween level, but he made it. four of the Halloween levels for oh, they're us. so awesome. Then I got my own Atari uh, in 1990. I want to say 92 or 93. Yeah, 90, 92 or 93, maybe 91. <laughs> Big pile of poo. Yeah, I was very slow. Uh, and um, because I never had it as a kid, and my, my friend and I would go to the flea markets um, in the early 90s, and that was like the prime time to get Atari cartridges and systems and joysticks and everything because people were just unloading them because that's when the Atari 2600 was done. They produced their last Atari in 92, the last system, or the last game came out in 92. One or the other. Um, it's about time, James, that you tried your hand at writing a game. Show us how it's done. <laughs> I have a, a thick He has a folder of game ideas, actually. A thick stack of game ideas, ranging from fairly simple to very complex. <laughs> Obviously, I would do the simple ones. And, and this fairly simple ones can be done, I'm pretty sure, without any enhancement chips, like, easily. Um, and I would do it with, like, single-color characters to begin with and simplistic things and just starting with, like, just moving the character around and stuff. Um, this is terrible. And this, maybe this little... Um, quarantine period <laughs> might afford me a little bit of time depending on how things go um, to delve into that a little bit um, that would be really really fun uh, homebrew we'll get to the second half of the question homebrew now wh how did that start it would have started online Probably when I was getting into emulators, it really wasn't that long ago. It's probably maybe five, six years ago. It'd be really interesting to see on the timestamps and date stamps on my computer which was the first um, homebrew I downloaded onto my computer. Maybe it was longer than that. Because I've do been doing this show for two and a half years now. Two and a half? Yeah, two and a half years. Two to two and a half years. Two and a half years. But I'd planned on doing the show <laughs> um, like two years before that because I was waiting to upgrade my Atari 2600 to an RGB system. So I got all the equipment and Darcy helped me solder it so I would have the best looking output this is not the rgb system this is a terrible composite system that i'm choosing in the meantime that's, that's something else i can do during the break is is get that my atari fixed up and i also waited till i had enough money to buy the frame meister as well so that it would look the absolute best it can and all the um video capture device as well so I have the camera and the and everything so it looked well 2013 is when I started my list. Oh, okay. That's what, what Arena Foot said. Mm. Um, and it... What was I saying? Oh, how long have I been into homebrew? This is terrible. But I remember us going down to Portland. Mm. That was kind of my first big exposure to actual physical homebrew. It's when we went down to Portland the first time. 
what year was that? The first time? Yeah. That was a while ago. When we met um, Daryl Spice Jr. Mm -hmm. And I got his autograph on something. <laughs> now I don't bother with autographs. Because I, you know, I talk to the people online. It's like, <laughs> I don't need autographs anymore. I meet these people. It's great. It would be an Instagram photo. Though. Autographs yeah. are definitely a thing of the past, so. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I picked up uh, Medieval Mayhem um, and got Daryl Spice Jr. to sign that, mm. I think. And I bought Stay Frosty at the same time. Um, but by then, I had already kind of planned on doing the show, I think. I'd already thought about it before that. Um, but that's a, that's a good question of when I got into homebrew. It probably didn't, because I remember using emulators on the computer for a very long time. And I think the first emulator that I played around with is, was an S, NES emulator called Nestical. Um, and it kind of barely, barely run. And that was in the mid-90s, mid to late 90s, um, when I got into emulation. But I had a real Atari, so I didn't really need to get into emulation of Atari. And it is just stacks and stacks of games, which I still have. I've never got rid of any games. Is that the best you've yeah, got? Yeah, you want to give it a try? <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to get Third under 20 so seconds. I think 20 is, 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 is the, the gold goal. standard. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you're doing much better right off right of the gate. I'm finding, are you slowing down or you, you're keeping a high speed? Oh, no, I straight out. Yeah. Ah. I find some of the, the, when you hit the 3-3-3, three, 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 it's like I don't even know how you get past that without slowing down. I'm going to have to memorize the pattern here. I know. So it's up, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. down. And it's pretty easy from then on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, oh, I messed up right away. <laughs> Let go of the button. Oh. Is it up first, then down, then up? Yeah. Then down. Okay. It's just, it's, it's, they, they move so fast, it's so easy to get caught on the edge of one. Especially when it's three like that, spaced yeah. out. So that was 23 seconds, not too bad. Yeah, the Halloween level, definitely a challenge. So stay up, 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 up. Well, it's, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yep. It's just this part, up, down, up, is the big one. But you basically have to get everything else perfect. Up, down, down. Up. up. I don't know how you do that so quick. I, I never seem to make it all the way across. Oh, you're doing well. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. 20.8. So you don't so even have to get 20. Bit, a little bit more lenient on the fourth level. Maybe under 21 seconds. And he's in the zone! Yeah, yeah, you just blew through that one. So it's all about getting past, say, stay at the top. Yeah, but you have to hit everything perfectly, too. Stay at the top till there's a bunch of three, and then you go through that. Yeah. And well, then you're done. And then you stay at the bottom. Around the bottom. Yeah, that's what I noticed last time. Yeah, there you go. Then down, then up, then down, then up. Ah! Yeah. And then stay near the bottom ah. towards the end. Once you get you're tripped fine. up, you're kind of... Yeah, not all Bottom, way. middle. Uh -huh. yeah. You have, it has to be smooth. I mean, I find the moment you trip up, it kind of messes you up. I'm going to look through all my archives now. Of the time, the, um, the stamps, time stamps, date stamps uh -huh. on my ROMs, my homebrew. But this might not be an accurate representation. Second, so I'm getting there. 
No, it's not. Date modified is not right. Date created? Nope. Uh, date accessed? You're nope. wrong, so you, to make sure you have the right date, you mean? No, to see the first one I downloaded. You do need to stay near the top. But I don't know if I can, if it remembers that, because I've copied things over from one hard drive to another, and it kind of resets the date. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that's going to be helpful to let me determine which was the first homebrew I ever downloaded. Oh, you want to know which one was your first? Yeah. But I don't think that's going to... I don't think I can get that. It doesn't keep that information. I mean, take it from one hard drive to another. Nope. So that's not going to help me figure out which is the first one. I probably didn't download homebrews at first. Downloaded, I would have downloaded like the original pack of games. Original Atari games from the 70s, 80s, 90s. Homebrew. It probably would have coincided pretty close to when I found out Atari, the Atari Age forums. <laughs> Into the water. Well, that's the easiest way to restart. Yep. Slow down. Me? No. It looked like you did for a second there. But maybe not. Ah. So there was an Atari in television Magnavox. What? Do you remember any others that were part of the first systems? Um. Well, the first. Ooh. Twenty-two point two. Very close. Two, two is two is my best so far. <laughs> yes. Sorry. The Fairchild Channel F was the first to use programmable plug-in cartridges. Ooh, it's... Ah! But they, they're talking about things. That's okay. Once I screwed up, I, I'm seeing you out of the corner of my eyes, so that's Sorry. absolutely not helping any of this. It's like when, when this person is distracting you right here. <laughs> this, this is the first uh, cartridge uh, programmable game system, is the Fairchild Channel F. Um, and I have a complete in-box version of it with plastic. Um, I won't take it out because you can go look that up on the internet, but, <laughs> and I have a, a fairly decent, uh, collection of cartridges from the, uh, Fairchild, uh, Channel F as well. I don't have, uh, the upper twenties numbers. I have all the common, uh, all the way up to 21 and then I have like 26 or something. Um, I have the multi-cart and I have... Pac-Man as well. I don't have any of the demo cartridges. Um, all the ones that are remaining that I need are $200 each a cartridge, and I'm not paying $200 a cartridge for a Channel F game because <laughs> they're terrible. They're really, really blocky. Maybe not terrible, but they're blocky. Blocky as hell. Um, but I wanted that system because it's the first cartridge system ever made that the game was on the cartridges. Because before the Channel F, the games were always stored inside the system. And if it was a cartridge system, the cartridge would just indicate to the system which game to play inside of it. This is the one, first one where you could actually make a new game outside of the system. And there's still, uh, still homebrewers making games for the Channel F, which is, which is astounding. Um, there's a Channel F... Um, forum section on the Atari Age forums as well. 22.9! No, 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 no. I'm hitting too many things. Yes, you can the bat. I collected a fair child for next to nothing, then got the multi -part cart for a small fortune. I think I got a pretty good deal on the multi cart. Um, I think they re released a multi cart a couple years ago, and I got in on that one. Still was not cheap because it's 
it's very obscure. Not many people collect it. Um, but I did was able to get that one. Maybe I bought it off somebody. Mine is not labeled the Channel F because it was a Fairchild VES before they changed the name to Channel F. Ooh, wow, that's exciting. Um, mine says Channel F Fairchild Video Entertainment System. And then they also released the Fairchild in Germany. And that falls under a different name. And I have some of those cartridges. Oh, do I have any of those cartridges? I don't think I do. can't remember what the name is on those. Um, but it's a totally different name. It's not the first cartridge system. It's the first one using a microprocessor and ROM games on cart. The Magnavo Magnavox Odyssey had cartridges, but no microprocessor. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. So that's a, a distinction that some people wouldn't wouldn't understand and this is always hailed as the first cartridge based home home system magnavox had cartridges but no mic microprocessor would love to see some of those games um well you can check them out online they're they're pretty blocky somebody did make a pac-man it's very scaled down pac-man like it's just chunky 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 pac-man I'm getting worse. <laughs> I'm getting worse. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm anticipating now instead of actually paying attention to what's on the screen, if that makes sense, which makes it worse. It's mm. like I'm not, I'm like mentally ahead of myself. The beginning, middle, top. No, 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 you know don't, that? no, that makes it worse. <laughs> that makes it worse. I'm, I'm, I'm like going, oh, and then up and then down and then I'm not paying attention to what's going oh. by. So I'm kind of, I've, I'm out of my mode of <laughs> like just going with the flow of it. Which just is beginning to get frustrating, which just makes it worse, you know? <laughs> oh no. Oh, what up? Oh, you let go of the button. Yeah, because I, I I can't get through that. The the biggest system I collect collected for was Vectrex. I'm all done my Vectrex collection. Well. You don't have every game. Technically. <laughs> Except for the impossible games. That's what I mean. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna buy those. They're two thousand dollars each. Not going to do it. It's ridiculous. I don't have Mindstorm 2. And I don't have Mr. Boston. So that's that's the end of the Vectrex collection. Everything else I have. Um, in box. Except for the the um, 3D imager. I don't have a box for it. But I have a box for everything else. Actually, do I have a box for the pen? I don't have a box for the pen either. Yeah. And I have two Vectrexes. Um, they're all up there. Don't think my. Oh, I do have a, a box oh. with a light pen. I tell a lie. There we go. There's a box with a light pen. Ooh. It is the gatefold version. There's two two different versions of this. Um, and I actually have all the European versions of Vectrex games. Not all the European versions, but I have the European alternates of the Vectrex games as well, because there's soccer here. And I think it's called football there. Maybe they changed it. Anyway, I don't want to dig those out. But there's like three different variations. Um, no one three can different, actually three see it there. No, they can't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just looking up there. Okay. You don't have vet caves, do you? Uh, vet caves. Uh, oh, no. Don't have vet caves. I don't. I only collect the uh, the homebrew that I like, that I think would be interesting for the vet tracks. Um, I can show that. Oh, that's another thing. I'll show you all my Vectrex homebrew. Which I have a bit. There's a lot more out there, but the other ones are like, eh. Not as interesting, because they're not as complex of a game that I would, as I would like. So I have a, a number of Vectrex multi-carts. Most of them are in another cupboard. But here's a Vect multi. And I have three or four different versions of this. 
Um, this one's pretty new, Spidex. I've not played it yet. Um, I have number 65 of it. Um, I have Vec Z. Isn't Vec Caves just like going like this through caves? Um, I have Star Sling. I have Stromash Zone. This one's a fairly newish one. No, it's not. 2017. I have Vecmania, which has Birds of Prey, Disc Duel Demo, Abyss Demo, Vec Vader's Remix, Patriot Remix, Rockeroids Remix. I have Vectopia, which has Wormhole, Trackers, Vectropolis 500 Demo, Spikes Water Balloons Analog, and Controller Tester. And I have the Vectrex Test Cartridge, which tests a bunch of things to do with your screen, because there's adjustments you can do. Andrew Davey is leaving us. Thanks for hanging out, Andrew Davey. Good show, guys. Catch you on the flip side. Well, Tanya only has to do one more thing, and the show's over. Yeah. <laughs> She's you that can... close to no, her patch. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> You're messing me up. <laughs> Uh, I have Bits and Bytes, which is Vector Pong, Frogs and Flies, Hex, and Space Race. This is from Packrat Video Games. Who is, was watching? I don't know if they are anymore. Uh, Space Frenzy. I have Vectrexagon, which is very, very cool. And there's a C64 version of this type of game as well, which was very, very fun. I don't think... I haven't played many of these, actually. No time. No time to play them. I have release. Don't do that every time. I think this one's fairly new. What's the date on this one? It's by Packrat as well. Now you can get a bunch of games uh, for the back tricks at Packrat Video Games. And Atari 2600 Homebrew as well. Um. Almost a good run. No date on this. What did you get? What time? 22 2 Oh, no, I mean... Oh, 2017. This is cart number 51. Carl Quap, which is like Frogger. V Frogger, two different types of Froggers. And Nebula Commander as well. And, of course, all the regular games for the backtracks. I'll put all these back. So I do collect homebrew for other systems. Not too much, though. Mostly Atari 2600. Because they're the cheapest. And the thing I am most interested in as well. put this all back without collapsing anything. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm going. <laughs> You're going. I'm going. Oh, it's so frustrating. Now, I don't know if anybody else out there can help me. Oh, right There's a page. line... <laughs> of mini arcade systems. Of course, I picked up two green ones. Um, there you go. Pac-Man. Um, these mini ones that are like the Game & Watch. These screens are not like LCD screens. They're like... They're just like... Ah, off. Um, like they're like the old school Coleco tabletop ones. And there is a Defender one that they've announced on their web page, and they said, "Oh, you can pick, you can buy these on Amazon and Target." But I cannot find the Defender version of this. And there is a Defender version that's like LCD and it's got the beautiful title screen. It's all color. That's not the one I want. I want the very low res, made by little lines and things, where you move chunky, chunky Game and Watch style. 
got most of my Vectrex cards for $4.99 each back in 1983-84. Well, that's when they came out. Best one was Star Trek for 96 cents at Toys R Us in 1984. Wow. Yeah, that would have been the time to buy it when they were just, like, done. When they are clearing them out because the system was way too expensive for everyone and it just... The whole market crashed. That would have been nice to get, but no, I paid a fairly good premium for my <laughs> Vectrex games. Not too bad. I, would, I waited it out as, as long as I could. I remember the chunky line graphic games like that. Couple had a couple of those. Yeah, I have a bunch up there. But these are like redone line versions. I don't know what to call them. VFD, but they're not VFD. Um, um, but I've got all of them except for Defender. But I, I think they just haven't released that one yet. Um, so I'll just have to wait that one out. Crack Drafter said, you almost had it. I know, I was very um, close. Which games are you looking for on the 2600? Nothing really. I have pretty much all the games I want. I like the original style games. I did have a list, but I think I... Up and I, down and up. Uh, right there. Yeah. And then the, the moment you slow down, you speed up in chunks. <laughs> oh. And <laughs> it just messes you up. For homebrew, I think I've... I've also got everything I've wanted. I mean, I have a list of things coming out that I still want, but they're not out yet. Um, but I'm pretty good for, for homebrew as well, I think. Let me check my, my listings. I'll check my Atari 2600 list as well, just to see if there is anything that I want. I, I don't think so. Oh my goodness. Because I don't really care about boxes for original 2600 games. I did get Hero recently. Well, a couple of years ago now. Uh, okay, video games, want. Uh, so, 20, Atari 2600. Um, oh, there's a couple that I do want. Uh, Cakewalk. No. Uh, Dark Chambers oh. and Star Gunner. Those are three original 2600 games that I'm still looking for. Dark Chambers is not hard to get. Did I already buy that one? I may have bought that one already. To check. Star Gunner is not too expensive. I have it listed for $30 What's here. Just haven't put forward the effort. Cakewalk is not cheap. The last I look, I had 184 Canadian for NTSC and 100 Canadian for PAL. Obviously, I'd want the NTS NTSC version. Yeah, that's the problem with 2600 games and the boxes for them. They get crushed really easily because there's no... Because you have to open the top flap and people stack them up. So they get damaged really easy. So I'm surprised that... They are not worth more than they are, the boxes. Uh, for homebrew, ooh, I have to update this. I've got a bunch of these. I've got Aardvark and Amoeba Jump and a Roach in Space now. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't enter those in. I've got a bunch of these. Oh, damn it. Just placed a order with Atari Age. I forgot to ask about... Chattery, which is the wrong pronunciation. I apologize. It's that Russian word for four. Mm. I've looked it up, and I, it's even hard to pronounce even when I know the pronunciation. Oh, well, I'll get that next time. Oh, also Hunchy 2 and KO Cruiser. Damn it! I was just so excited, because he, he had the Atari box back in stock. Oh, the fixed version. And I ordered that and a bunch of boxes that he brought back in stock, but I forgot about all these other games. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, and then I just have a bunch of games on here like Rampong, which is going to be sold in Pack Rat soon. Pac Man 8K, which I doubt is ever going to come out now because Pac Man's no longer in the store, the Atari Age store. Oh. Um, the sacks when that comes out. Oh, oh, oh you bettered it. No, I hit it right at the end. I hit one of oh, the last you? ones. Yeah. Oh. 
who is like doing pretty good. <laughs> Robo mechanic, when that comes out, that's definite must buy. It's a huge list of must buys. I try to avoid getting the boxes, don't care about them, and it feels wrong throwing them out. Yeah. Generally, that's what I, th I think about boxes. Like, I don't collect NES boxes. I don't collect uh, Atari 2600 original series boxes. Um, I do collect homebrew boxes because I, I do like the artwork on them. They're really, really nice. And they're available now. So... <laughs> no, it's like... My, I have no instinct anymore. It's oh, like I'm no. anticipating things. Also, my eyes hurt. That one kind of propelled you forward a bit. They do. It, it's funny. The moment like that you, one too. The moment you hit them, it kind of... Oh, didn't even start right. Like, you know the pattern. Well, Obviously. sort of, but but I'm still, like, making mistakes, so mm. I'm tired. <laughs> this <laughs> is the problem tired. now. I'm just tired. tired. There, ugh. Uh. And the moment, the moment you you grind it, it's like you can't you can't get the ones after. Rampong has been coming out for the pack rap for years. I did, I did read something about Rampong. Like Thomas was talking with pack rat, and there was some communication, and and it looked like some movement forward um, in the forums. I think I've reported on that. Maybe not. But um, I did see some, some communication. Oh, so close. Yeah. Tied your best. That was much better, but yeah. So I think it might be coming out soon. There's there's a very good chance now. Because I don't think there was any more hurdles. I think it was just packaging, and then the packaging was done, because the game's been done forever. But that's going to be fun, to put the game in, turn it on, and then take the game out and play the game. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I did do it. I did do Ram Pong with the Harmony Cart. But I only ventured to do it once. Because that's very dangerous to do, pull that stunt. Oh, oh, come on! I didn't even mean to go in the water there. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually going pretty well. But that's probably the first one of those that I'm looking forward to. Oh, also DKRK2600. But the chance of that listed in the store is... It's, it's another dangerous title. Anything that's uh, a port can get kind of sketchy, especially with the big N. It's associated with the big N. Uh. It's like you're, now I'm not even getting getting to the space that I need to get into. <laughs> Just into the no, water. No, no, I hit it. I, hit it. I know, I know. Just hit it and went right into the water. Well, I just might On as well. purpose. <laughs> Even uh, slow down there. That's so weird. I find uh, purpose, like you didn't purpose. No, I didn't. I, my finger must have shifted. Uh, I, I start, started slow. This game would pack a pass for Activision game back in the day. Yeah, it it's definitely, a great... like in terms of graphics, this would definitely <gasps> be. Am I pushing uh, backwards on above. the joystick or something? Is that why I'm slowing down? Oh, maybe. Try it. Oh, like, hold down the button and then move the joystick back. Yeah, no, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. I don't think so. I don't think um, so. It's, it must be easing off. They wouldn't allow this game oh, to be released by Act under the Activision label. Can anybody tell me why? <laughs> and the hint is right on the screen why Activision would not put out this game. Not because it's not a good game, not because the graphics aren't good, but... Hey, Mad Max 2069. It's because of a uh, unspoken rule or, or a rule they had um, in terms of the, des the um, design of the game. Oh, thanks, Mad Max 2069, for for your uh, subscription. Thank you for supporting the show. Now your name will be read out for the next month. Not two player. Nope. 
that's not it. But that's a very good guess. I bet I bet they all did require... I think I did read that, that they all required two players. Which is a very good rule to have, because... Because then you can invite your friends. Oh! I, I didn't... I did not do slow down. Oh. Really? I didn't, no, I'm not slowing down. It's it's something in my movement is okay. as actually slowing the gameplay. It's weird. It must be the back. Pressing back or forward. No, no, I'm not I'm totally fucking up. But that's okay. <laughs> um, no, it is the. Uh, Maybe I'm catching the edge. It's the flicker of the reflection of the moonlight on the water. Um, they did not allow any flicker in their games. Title screen? Uh, well, they didn't have title screens, but I don't think that was it. It was. It's the flicker. They don't allow any flicker in their games. And and if you look at their games, they did. I mean, most original games didn't have a lot of flicker, except for Pac-Man, which had excessive flicker. It had more than more than enough flicker. I don't have that part of the list, which is the problem. <laughs> After the up and down, it's middle to down is where you yeah, say. That, that, As a general rule, unless you're That's not a general, like... Flicker Man! God damn, God damn it. Somebody should make a game called Flicker Man. That's a good idea. It's a good name. And, like, make the main character, like, really flickery, but everything else is fine. Smashing buttons, that's the problem. That's why it's slowing down. I'm deliberately moving my oh. fingers now, which is making it worse. Rain Foot is off to bed. <sighs> yeah. Good night. It's going to take a while. <laughs> and you seem intent on getting it. Well, I'm I'm in the mode. I'm not quite ready oh, to give oh. it up right now, but... You can still do it. No, I can't. No, no, uh, no. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> a break? Slight, no. Small break? <laughs> not really. <laughs> Want me to do it in one? No. <laughs> <laughs> not particularly, no. <laughs> really warm now with the lights on though yeah. this sweater it's only 22 is... oh you have your sweater on yeah, yeah. it's this sweater well it's 12 a.m here going to bed too oh everybody's uh, giving up uh, oh no it's okay <laughs> I haven't rage quit yet yeah i came pretty close yep i'm not sure one. is it oh is it um 21 it could be 21 or under, it could be 22 and under. Yeah. I don't know, but it's not 20, under 20. I know that, because I got 20.1. Oh, I have to go up there. Man, this old laptop does not like the 1080p60. Can you set it to 720p60, maybe? You can try the different lower see, resolutions. Did you, did you, do you see how it slows down there? It's because I'm kind of mashing the buttons. I'm going, I'm going on an angle. Like backwards? So you're not letting go of the button? But it is slowing down regardless? I'm not, I know my, my finger is not, is not moving off the button at all. Okay. It's, yeah, I saw it's some... because I'm going on a diagonal. Oh. On, on, on the joystick. Right. Or, or whatever you want to call it. Gamepad. Gamepad. pretty well even after a big slowdown. No, it's not. You can you can <laughs> catch dead. you can you can catch an edge. Mm. Um see I'm not I'm not paying attention because I'm talking to you too. And then you're talking and then I'm listening <laughs> to you. All of it is making it a lot harder to uh, actually do it. No transcoding on the stream. Oh isn't there on the fly transcoding? I guess not. I don't want to do that. Um, okay, gang, getting late. See ya. Oh, everybody's leaving. Everybody's leaving. Not tonight. Oh, yeah. I would have to be a partner to get, or whatever they call it, a what? to get transcoding. What's transcoding? It's taking the stream that I'm sending them yeah. and then re encoding it at a lower rate so that people can watch it at 720p or 480. But you saw that slowdown, right? As I as yep, I as I went I around. Did. And you didn't let go of the button? No, I don't let go of the button the whole time. 
It's 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 huh. I'm hitting I'm hitting it on an angle. Uh. Not even. I'm too tired. I'm my eyes are beginning to gloss over. So I'm gonna take second on that one. I'll have to try it again another stream. I've seen people restart cool. the stream a few times and get transcoding. Oh, so maybe it it figures it out. Ugh, my eyes. It's like it's like blurring. <laughs> There, yep, you slow down. I saw it. Oh, it's it like... is. Yep, it does. It slows down. Yeah, you can press back. Oh, you can. So if, if you accidentally hit back, it is slowing your your yep. your path. Yep. Yep. Oh, and if you hit forward, it goes faster. Is it? It's hard to tell because I have to. Forward going faster. I don't think forward goes faster, but if you're if you hit back, you're slowing down. No, forward doesn't go faster. Yeah, it totally slows down. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Here's that's back. Mm. So yeah, you were. No, but I, I I I'm not much. Fairly certain I'm not. I wasn't hitting back. I was hitting an angle. Do you know what I mean? Like I was I was. Well, angles don't. Swapping the angle. Angles not good either. Yeah. It's just when you're doing the up down up really quickly. See, I tap. I don't hold. Well, no, I have been holding. I wonder if an actual controller instead of a D-pad would actually make it easier. It can. It could make it worse, though. Mostly. Well, depends on the game. Depends what you're used to. Yeah, you're got a nice smooth run in there. It's those three. Damn it! Is, those three and like getting out of that is is really. It always seems to Damn be it. a trouble point. Yeah. Once you slow down, it kind of just screws you up for the rest of it a lot of the time. You lose your... You lose your flow. Here. Usually there's an option for the lower res on the live show. Not there today. Hmm. They all took the day off work. Does the game allow for paddles? I don't think it does. Um... Just because he's got the option to slow down with the joystick, he probably didn't think paddles were something that he could add in. But without that, there's no reason this game couldn't be paddles. Um, well, it would be a very different game with paddles because paddles are like more like an absolute location on the screen up or down oh, that was really close that was your best game yet yeah it was I just needed a little break possibly um, cuz paddle games usually are like i want to move to this spot and this again. game is not about that really it's more about dodging and trying to time out the movement from the top to the bottom um now, if you used a driving controller, so you could spin, 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 then you could possibly do that. But it would change the dynamics of the game. Oh, God. You have to go up after that. Now, my hairdresser has shut down. Uh, everyone's has. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> um, you have to be in close contact with the person when you're doing hair. Um, and I needed a haircut, <laughs> so I'm going to get Tanya to do my hair. Uh-oh. <laughs> I will, because it's going to be too long, and oh, it's already a little long. I'm not going to get you to do the long part. I'm going to get you to the sides. She's done it before, and every time I've had somebody do my hair, other than the, the barber or hairdresser, and then the next time I go back to them, they're like... Did you get somebody <laughs> to yeah. cut your hair? Yeah, yeah. Like they happens. know. They can always oh, they tell. Always know. No matter how good a job you think they did, it's like no, they know right away. Every single time I've ever had that done. Crack a draft. Crack drafter says, luckily I just got mine cut. Yeah, yeah, I was about to make an appointment. Then I was kind of hesitant, it's like, oh, should I go out and do that? It's a bit too close, getting close to somebody. And then, kind of the day or second day after that, my hairdresser sent out a notification that they they shut down. So, just 
Just like the rest of society. It's all gone. Almost. But we don't need to get into that too heavy. This is about fun. This is about... <laughs> Uh, providing an opportunity to play Atari 2600 games and to make Atari 2600 games. So I am going to guess there's going to be an uptick in homebrew development yeah. in the next couple months. People can do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're at home. Yeah. A lot of people won't be Get doing... out the flowy. I like that. Get out the flow. <laughs> you know what that is? The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> flow... It's flowy. Flowy? Yeah. Flowy. Close. Yeah, that's that's the worst haircut you can have. It's it's if you'd like your hair to be all the same length all over, then definitely go for the flow <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. Just good in the second half. I wasn't paying attention. Yes. Sometimes, like right out, right out of the cart, it's like. But luckily, this will give more opportunity for, for well, my job hasn't really changed yet. I usually work from home. Um, some of my job has changed, but um, the majority of it really hasn't. Because I've got enough to work on. So I produce and edit films, and a lot of that work is done from the computer. Because that's like planning before you shoot and during. Um, and then putting all the pieces together after it shot. And right now, I was just starting a project and I'm finishing a project. So that's the points where you stay at home and do things. And so it's kind of in an opportune spot where I can continue doing some work still. <laughs> yeah, Floby, same all over. It's a vacuum plus chopping blades. I don't know what it looks like inside. Like, it's just a rotating blade inside. Oh I don't know how it works. It's just scissors going really fast, like, like a blade going over something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Done. Once, once you're kind of like in that. Glad I got it right away. Oh, I know. <laughs> it just frustrates me to no end when you're like so close or you're just messing up on one part. Down, down. I didn't slow you down middle. much. You're still good. That yeah, did. You, I'd rather you didn't speak when I'm doing it. Because <laughs> then that just makes it worse. Uh, so close. <laughs> not that close. No, it was. No, it's not that close. <laughs> like screwing up on, you can, you can screw up on one, but... Like, that's about it. This already doesn't feel good. <laughs> oh. oh, my hands are like cramping. It's been too long. Oh. Tari, you've been with us almost the whole night. Yeah. Tari's favorite spot is in between both of us. So this is like a perfect opportunity for him to chill and relax with us. Well, I did order some new t-shirts and one said they was delivered today. I should have got it from the mailbox. Um, but I'll have another t-shirt on Friday. Which one did I get? I ordered two of them. One was the proper sizing for the one I tried before on that I gave to you. So it was a small. I looked. And I ordered a medium this time. It was a um, Bosconian shirt. And so I got that. What is the other one I got? I can't remember. It'll be a good surprise. Is there a screen bounce? No, that is a screen bounce. Uh, I'm sure it's eliminated in the final cartridge version because this is not the, the final version of it. There is a slight every a once bounce? in a while. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Yeah, I think it happens at the same point. I'll watch for it. It was like the, on the third, third thing each time. Oh, it's random. Maybe it's your position. 
might be. My hands are like. <laughs> Definitely not now. intentional. No. Some games have used that intentionally. Like, shake the whole screen with the earthquake. I can't remember. I've seen it in a couple games. That'd be good for, like, a volcano exploding in the background. Like, shake the whole screen or an earthquake. Um, or some big enemy coming on the screen and every time it stomps its foot, it could be... Because that's, like... The one of the easiest things to do on the Atari 2600. Like other systems would be much harder because if they're tile based, you have to like shift the tiles down. But Atari's just like, yeah, just delay the whole thing one line. Just draw it one line later. <laughs> That's all it cares about because the 2600 draws line by line. If the screen rumbling isn't done right, it can look. Uh, if the screen rum rumbling isn't done right, it can look unintentional. Oh, you mean if um, you intend to do it in a game like a, uh, for an effect? Yeah, it can be. It can look really bad, especially if it's not either not big enough of a rumble, or if it's mistimed, or it doesn't seem associated with what you're seeing on the screen. So it should have like the right noise. It should be like that low white noise sound to accompany it, like. Yeah, you have to use it sparingly and and shake it right not just one line but maybe like randomly or four lines or eight lines i wish i brought my 2600 with me but i guess i can just emulate it on my pc oh yeah definitely just download stella so close. excellent excellent emulator um plays everything you throw at it. Right that point. No, no, I was yeah. I was pretty smooth up to that. No, no. No, it's okay. <laughs> How long are you going to keep playing for? Not much longer. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So on Friday, we'll be going for another patch, the Astronomer patch. Um, that one is a lot harder because it relies a bit on randomness because you have to take pictures of stars with it. And the stars are um, not always the same. Each screen is a little bit different. <laughs> why? Why? It wasn't. It wasn't close enough. It was pretty close. No, because the last one of the last runs I did was was pretty close too. Atari Basic 1.0 is a shake screen command. Really? Oh, that's interesting. Oh yes, definitely get a USB joystick. Actually, when I practice these games, I play with. Um, I usually just play with the keyboard, and I'm not bad with the keyboard playing these games. I obviously don't play it on the stream with the keyboard, but. Um, Joysticks in the long run are better, or game pads, whatever you whatever you like. Atari Basic 1.0 is a uh, shake screen. Is it like shake screen four, and it'll like move it four, and then you go back to zero, or is it like a random kind of thing? I don't like that. Up. basic shake screen shake screens an interesting feature uh, dim shake screen equals a loop then shake screen 128 L shake screen zero so it is more like a delay well that's kind of cool you can get an Atari USB joystick but then I have an SNES style gamepad instead and I really don't like Atari joysticks I've never liked them like the original ones, they're so stiff and so uncomfortable in your hand because they were not ergonomically designed at all. And they're just 
it's short and the, the base is like too tiny and too big or like too thick I've, I've always had trouble with those i get ham hand cramps so quickly with those like even back in the day i didn't like them even when that was it that's all you had i knew i still didn't like them i have an extra ps4 controller i use for my pc emulation needs awesome that's excellent i just i just remember because atari basic dpc plus took that out oh they took out the shake screen and pound. Oh, okay. Yeah, this came up from 2007. Shake screen, well, shake screen plus one would be once every 128 frames. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if you have to compensate for the shake screen by by knowing how many lines it is moving the screen so that you don't actually roll the screen. One more. <laughs> One more? One okay. more and then I'm done. One more good run or one more? <laughs> <laughs> One more run. It's how close he gets. So it is under 21. It is. That's your best run? No, I did 21-4 oh. before. Oh, you did? I missed yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a variety of USB joysticks and game pads and also uh, arcade um, sticks, like the big ones, when we're using emulation, when I didn't have an Atari. I <laughs> when I didn't have an Atari, I... Um, Oh wow, you still got 21.7 with that? No, I was wow. doing very well. You weren't listening or paying attention to how smooth the rest of it was. And now, now I'm totally You went backwards! I know, I did. <laughs> it went backwards. <laughs> but I'm One amazed more. you're able I'm, to I'm, hit I'm something enough. and still Oh no, no, you can, do, you can do pretty well. Wow. But I get... I don't I'm just know. tired. <laughs> Twenty-one four twice, I thought. Twenty-one Craft four twice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So close. Four tenths of a second. Up, up down, up, down, down. Oh, I'm trying to do go too far. It's like I know, I know the pattern now, but there's just certain points where it um. My brain just takes a break. <laughs> it's just, it's so, I'm so Vacation tired. Vacation time yeah. for the brain. Yeah, I'm not even thinking here. I'm done. No. I'm done. I already I'm done. got mine. We'll, we'll let him sit at the bottom and think about what he's done. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. My 2600 joystick is a CX-10. Oh, wow, that's very cool. Do you have the little hex key? Hex, uh, hex top for it? <sighs> You did very well, and you I got know. that close to a patch. Twenty-one four. I'm sure. I'm sure if I uh, played another two hours. Well, no, <laughs> no. If I came back tomorrow, I'd probably get it right away. Yes, because yeah. you'd have the practice I'm, and the know-how, but I'm, not the like. My brain hand is hurt. just not even even paying attention yeah. now, so that's okay. Next so, time. <laughs> that is our show for yeah. today. Um, it's a very long ending, but that's okay. You could, have, you could have stopped me earlier if you wanted to. Eh. You were talking about all your Vectrix games. Yeah, and... <laughs> it's a little bit of fun talking about stuff, but I ran out of things. You ran out of things. Yeah, I know how that. I know how yeah. that works. Yeah. Um. So on Friday, I only have one game lo uh, lined 30. up. Oh my god. So I got to get some more games in there tomorrow mm -hmm. and make the graphic and put it out. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So we'll see what other games. Maybe it'll be a bunch of Activision challenges. Make it a patch challenge yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Just have some An variety. Activision challenge Activision day. plus um, the Astronomer as well. Okay. So cool. I might do that. I have one original hex disc. My precious. <laughs> Those are very rare. You know the, the Atari joysticks? Mm -hmm. Like the short black. The original ones had a little um, space at the top and it had a six-sided six-sided um, hex insert 
that's, insert to that it. That said okay. Atari on it. Oh, really? But they came out as easily. Oh, so they popped out. So all most the of them are missing. Oh. So if you have one of those, it, they're super rare. Oh, okay. And most complete in-box systems yeah. of the original don't have those hexes. Oh. So they're not complete. Yeah. They're, it's really, really rare. Mm. Um, the oh chances gosh. of you ever getting one is, is, is pretty rare. Well, they're next long to gone. zero. They're long gone now. Long, right? long, yeah, long. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Repentless likes yes. that idea. Patch challenge day. Yes. So we'll do that. If I don't, if if another big game comes out or there's a big update to a game, I'll I'll add that in. But mostly I'll do patch challenges by Friday because I just I don't really have time to do a bunch of research for Friday to mm -hmm. get some in. But if something comes up, yeah, no hex disc on mine. Yeah, yeah. I don't have. I don't even have CX CX10 joysticks. So, mm -hmm. and I don't have a heavy sixer either because that's what they came with. Hey, you're still looking for that heavy sixer, aren't you? Yeah, eventually I'll get one. <laughs> you'll, They're you'll not going to get cheaper, it. though. No, that's true. Uh, I was very close to buying one in box. Mm. Did it have the chess piece on the box? No. No? No. And that's probably why I hesitated. If it had the chess piece on the box, then yeah. I would have bought it. It was like $200 in box. Yeah. But the box was not perfect, and I was like, eh, I don't know. And then it was gone. Then of it was course, gone, yeah. of course. Was it in Portland? Yeah, it was in Portland yeah, two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Now there, there's not much. Now it's old, gone. It's old. It's all older gaming systems. NES. Yeah. And not even NES. No, it's, way it's, later. Way it's later. Xbox and later now. Yeah. At uh, retro gaming conventions, yeah. they're just like, there's no money in the old stuff now. Yeah. And it's everybody's bought it up. Yeah. It's sad. Yep. Yeah. But now when everybody's dumping their NES and it's the prices are going down. On that on those systems. Yeah. Interesting. On the older stuff. Yeah. yeah. Because everybody that wants it has it. Yeah. And everybody else is too young to care about it. So yeah. that those equations equals yeah. diving the, prices. The economics of retro video gaming, right? Yeah. yeah. Only so many to go around that too, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll be back on Friday. It's going to be 6 p.m. again. Is it? Or are you going to try it with... No. No? Well, we will, but I'll have them at 6 because I can't do a whole show like that too easily. Oh, okay. And it's only an experiment and it may not work. Okay. So it says 12, but it's not 12. It's going to be 6. Yeah. Darcy's going to be available. You mm. know. I'm sure they're at home. <laughs> mm. Um... And so, yeah, it'll be uh, two days from now, uh, same time as this started, three hours and a half hours before right now. This is a very long episode. That does happen on Patch Challenge days. Yes. Because we And for once, I'm the one who kept us going. Because yeah. usually I'm going, are Come you on. done yet? Are, are you done, done yet? <laughs> yeah. But you got it instantaneously. Yeah. Like, okay, I, more I, time for me to play. <laughs> I did play this a lot when we played it yeah, before. Yeah. So I had no. that in my mind of the movements. I feel like I'm this close. And that's the thing. It's not when you're like a mile away. It's when you feel it's, like you just need one good run to get it. And then you, you just... very close. Well, yeah. Like I said, I, I need to, I need a break and, and to come back to it. I'm sure I can do it. I'll I'll record it if I start playing it again <laughs> so I can I can yes. prove it later on. But um, yeah. Uh, I just, yeah, I, I, I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're but, very welcome. Uh, thank you, uh, Crack Drafter. Yes, um, thank for, you for joining. For hanging out with us. Yeah. We, we broadcast twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays. It's going to be 6 p.m. now. I think so. Pacific time yeah. for the next foreseeable future unless things change. Yeah. And we find some magical way to get Erilyn back at those times. Yeah. Or it might even change it because you might be home. Well, up, technically, if maybe. I'm home, I'm supposed to be working, so that might so, not be the best idea. I see. I might upset a few people <laughs> if I'm suddenly like, live streaming on Twitch. And <laughs> she happens to be playing you, video games during work hours. Working? Okay, yeah. so it would it probably will be six and less. Oh, you'll see. You'll yeah. see. We'll, we'll see. figure it out. <laughs> Things are dynamic, changing every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice to Meta Lunar meet. Seven. It's nice to meet you too. Oh, I don't recognize the name. He said New York. You met him in New York. That's a long time ago. It was 2003. Yeah. But if I... You missed that fly up, fly up the screen. But yeah. yeah. If I saw your face and we met in person, I would have remembered you. Because we hung out for quite a while in New York. Yeah. Um, and if it was a specific person that picked us up from the airport, I would definitely remember you. Yeah. But if we just hung out in... 2005. 2005. Mm. Okay. Oh, well, that is later than I thought. Yeah. Okay. It might have been 2005. 
extended <laughs> extended lunch break yeah there you go yeah. i'll make up the hours of the, no it's yeah. a bad idea no no i mean in theory yeah it's not that big a deal but yeah. i probably should not do that no yes. we don't want to get you in trouble no we need I the money in trouble. <laughs> but we could start earlier if you want if i'm home because my work day ends earlier it doesn't have to be not six. much earlier yeah. yeah if you wanted to yeah i'm just saying okay yeah okay um oh actually we'll say goodbye to everyone because a lot of people watched um thank you very much yeah uh thank you uh you bought brought the pob first album and signed it for me oh very cool mst3k i know that name hello mst3k <laughs> metal lunar seven and gretums as yes. well crack drafter uh i supposed to repentless vg uh moon pie 2005 six hello uh, welcome uh, that's yeah. a new name uh mad max 2069 a nathan strum uh Prow seven new name as well welcome lots of new names tonight yeah that's great i probably because of the time change possibly because this is a not Different a normal people time can, people keep it excuse me <laughs> Oh, my brain is just fried now. Yeah, uh, yeah different people can join. Andrew in. Davey, Arena Foot, who have both headed off to bed mm -hmm. or elsewhere. Uh, Imagine I supposed to. Yeah, got I supposed to. Cafe Man 2D. Dios Kilos. Dios Kilos, and that's the end of my scrolling. And Captain Classic snuck in at the last Yay. second. No, no, the, he, they, they were there. Oh, he, she I was see. there way okay. earlier. So, oh, good. Yeah. Oh, reading the name out, I mean. Yeah. Great show. Love the new time. 6 p.m. is better for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It may be 6 p.m. that for a little while, yeah. Maybe. There's a good chance of it. Um, I like 6 p.m. too. <laughs> uh, Europeans do not like 6 p.m. Yeah, that's they, true. They hate it. Yeah, it's so a different it's, crowd, right? It is. Yeah. So, um, what's his face? Uh, I vote for know. six a.m. <laughs> six a.m. <laughs> not gonna happen. That's not gonna. Happen. Although that would be before my workday starts, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good night, all. Thanks for the welcome diversion. Yeah, well, thank you, welcome. Nathan Strum, for yes. tuning in, and that's what we're here for. Yes. Take a little break from reality. Yeah. Play some games. Yeah. Um, put some hours. Clock some hours on your twenty six hundred. Um, what time zone are you all on? Uh, uh, well, we are on Pacific time. Yes. So the six p.m. is Pacific time here. Yeah. West coast of um, USA, Canada. We're mm -hmm. in Canada, mm -hmm. and everybody else is all over the place. Yeah. We've got um, um, European people, and we've got Australian people, and <laughs> so it depends what times. Well, the Aussies were here. Um, uh, Andrew Davy was here. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got a couple of Australian viewers. Nathan Strum is PST. Yeah. We've well. got a few people uh, down in South America. Yeah, yeah. We've got Brazilian representation. Yes. Um, a lot of East Coast, all over the place of North America. That's and, the biggest. And Europe, too. And yeah. Europe. We've yeah. got a big contingency. Yeah. Um, Thrust 26 is, is our our big European watcher. And I was. It was uh, Thomas um, Yanch. Um, Yanch. Dianoid, right? Yes, Dianoid as well is from Europe, Northern Europe. Yeah. Yeah um we got you surrounded yeah yeah no we're, we're by the water no, I, guess, I guess they are surrounding us from one side yeah, yeah that's very that's true. not surrounding no you have us cornered yeah against Unless, the and, water yeah that's true Unless, yeah <laughs> got us cornered <laughs> um so we'll find uh, out what we're going to be playing on friday don't quite know yet except for astronomer and we'll be going for that patch okay okay mm -hmm. um so we'll see you in two days thanks for hanging yeah. out everybody and make Good sure luck. you keep subscribe well, and all keep safe things. yes keep safe wash your hands and grab all the toilet paper you can no <laughs> yes don't. not the scratchy bamboo stuff though yeah. just yeah. just the nice avoid that if you can okay yeah. bye-bye good night, good night.